me out now. Turn up the smooth operator, shoddy on repeat, I say sleep later, this another favor, consider me your neighbor, lost a lot of fam in pursuit of the paper, she gon' catch the vapors when we slide by, the way I speak my mind, it's like I peak my prime, but I ain't close, I cruise through the night air, fantasy a dream, real world is a nightmare, like Claire battling the brainless, learn to live shameless, talk about me alive, but claim that I'm nameless, you aimless, so I'm a style on them, they washed up, it's a wrap, throw the tile on them, gaining miles, on them. Oh, time goes for the win. Time goes at the end on the move that I'm in. Like Ben, when it's time for adventure, there's some new blue. Get ready to enter my mind for a few. Come and take a ride with the blue. Well, I'ma show you how to recoup days lost when you vibe with the blue. Uh, come vibe with the blue. Yeah. About time to regroup. Fly, got my eyes on the view. Why? Never hear lies, only truth. Realize why they vibe with the blue. Uh, vibe with the blue. But I still get requests I'm playing Zelda on the GameCube I quit spamming my music Don't ever try forcing the links That's a high rule The wind wake of mother nature On my side too Controlling the elements Go and check my avatar I'm arrows ahead Get the point moving forward The battle scars accumulated over time Our reminders of what I went through As a mind The trees broke down But it's loose leaf If life's a game of death I'm loose sleep Ooh wee Loose sleep on the regular Trying to get this word out Then I crash Nebula. Wish I had a very odd parent, maybe two, but it's cool. Everybody pays dues. Now it's time to make moves. Granny didn't raise me to lose. Think I'm in the mood for a cruise. Wanna buy, come and vibe with the blue. 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 Come and vibe with the Check this out, y'all. I'm back spasm like the elderly worth of my cousin Beverly. Never swear away from the truth. Just ask Heather, be weather, be tripping. Stone and look control like our destiny. Always give you the best of me until the death of me. My weaponry is a paintbrush. Hush, don't tell my secret. They get a hold of you. They leak it. Get it? Got you covered though, look. But let me get back to that cool ish, Lucius. Why they still lying? They don't do this. Bad at board games. Whole world clueless. Selling their soul for roof, Chris. Who's this on a fella? Need a slice, extra mozzarella. Cool. Boring like they don't trust fun. Why you guys to tell her? You don't know, but my eyes are better. Life's a gamble. Depending on who holding the cards. You can start living in large or it's bon voyage. Charge it to the game. Me and you ain't the same. I'm thinking bigger pictures. Why you still Shrinking the frame, ever blinking the rain. Uh, it helps when your eyes dry. Mob with the bright minds. Think you funny, wise guy? <laughs> Midnight Marauder with a new tribe. Tired of the day, come and vibe with the blue sky. <laughs> come and vibe with the blue sky. I'm proud of you try. We get them high. Uh, take them high. Yeah. I do. Come and vibe with the blue. Yeah. Come and vibe with the blue. Pass what up? Vibe with the. seen everything that has ever happened, ever will happen, ever could happen, and yet, what the hell is this? Are you ready? Give a damn about a hater when I feel like it. Not today, not today, not today, not tomorrow, get out my way, please, I'm trying to get paid. Not today, not today, not today, not tomorrow, get out my way, please, I'm trying to get paid. I've been for 27 years, I ain't gone for 20 years.
I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I love how they started. Yeah. I love an apology right up. <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry. Okay, y'all. First off, I'm sorry for multiple reasons. Um, I am sorry because, well, for one, we started a little late because uh, we were we were chit chatting and I was caught up in the conversation and completely forgot what time it was. Uh, <laughs> also, sorry, because we have a new intro that Robo slaved over and <laughs> I forgot to add it in. So um, days. So, it took days. It took days. It, it, no, uh, yeah, yeah. honestly, <laughs> I, I, I. Hold on. <laughs> it actually could have uh, taken days because I know how Robo operates on projects. <laughs> true, true. He's like, he's like, I do like, like two things. Uh, that's the two things, and then I was like, "Look, I'm like, yeah, I did a lot today." Let's yeah, back to Jackie's yeah. dogma. Yeah. 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 I, I promise. <laughs> the amount of time, by the way, this has become one of my favorite uh, pastimes while I'm at work, right, or right before I go to sleep. I go into the Discord chat, they like, see active, just to see Robo Dragon's Dogma, because I I know that's his new obsession. And now I wake up, I wake up at five in the morning. For those who don't know, and I see Robo Dragon's Dogma, I was like. Yeah. Nah, well, you, not today. Nah. No, not today. You, no. you know what I will give you? Would you? You know, because I've been actually trying to go to bed. I, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. But I, you know what's wild is you know of of your friend, your gaming friends group right here. I can see you, uh, uh, being at work, Dragon's Dogma. When you go to bed, I'm on Dragon's Dogma. Yeah. When you go to bed. When you wake up, blurred Dragon's Dogma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and every time, because like, that is blur, blur, blur. Blur. no. <laughs> oh yeah. For me to catch up on chat, I'd be like, okay, I'll read over, cool, 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 and I reply. I replies. But when I do that in the morning, I wish you guys could see the shock in my face when one of you guys respond. Oh yeah, sorry for this is I was like, hold up, what time is it? You know what's wild? The last <laughs> time you did that though, it was like eleven thirty, and it was like, oh shit, I thought you guys would be asleep. I'm like, what? And then I'm like. To be fair, uh, I mean, I was like, nah, that, that makes about say I usually, like, yeah. Yeah. I stay getting up around three p.m. I look, I get up when I feel like it. That's what I. Get. <laughs> well, I'm not hating. He's still. No. I'm hating. I'm hating the game. <laughs> well, <laughs> the players. Why did you know, mess my head up? <laughs> it kind of, it kind of reminds me of like if if if, if anybody knows me, y'all know. I've said this before. Uh, I'm a huge uh, fan of The Office, right? That's like, that's my show. You know, I get it, hate it or, le uh, hate it or love it type thing. I love it, right? All day. Um, there's a part in there where the big, uh, the boss, or Michael Scott's boss, um, gets gets let off from his job. He's not he's not the corporate regional, he's not the corporate guy anymore, right? And and me and my uh, man, man eater were just talking about this. Um, there's a part in there where he's like, got the five o'clock shadow he's not working anymore because he's like a millionaire right so he got this money and he's chilling like in the hot tub you know like like not going to work and, and they're trying to like make it like he's a loser right mm -hmm. and and the wife in the part of the comedy is the wife being like so did you did you put any app job applications in here's the thing though they are filthy rich they're rich right because he got his severance pay and then later mm -hmm. on, he does something where, you know, where he sells some technology and they're even more rich. And I'm like, leave that man alone. Like, I don't see you <laughs> going to work. Like, you guys are rich as shit. Leave. Can, can he just sit there? <laughs> man, he just like, you don't have to feel attacked. It's okay. You're, you know, I'm like, no, <laughs> no, this, see, this show discriminates. <laughs> which also, which also kind of highlights on, like, the amount of time you have in your hand that you can get this angry while watching the couch. Like, see, this is bullshit. See? Look, this is bullshit. Look, I, mean, I woke up. I, I don't wake up at two thirty in the afternoon to put on the office at three in the afternoon and be and be attacked like this. Okay. <laughs> have you, do you have Do you have a dual screen set up on your uh, on your computer station? Three. Uh, three. Two, so mm -hmm. so okay. So keep, people keep in mind is Twitter, the office, Dragon's Dogma. That's about right. Yeah, that's about right. Or the Baki. Right now I'm, I'm watching Baki, but yeah. <laughs> he's like, look at this man. He's like, yeah. You know, <laughs> you know what? Uh, speaking of grappling, let you know what. First, first and foremost, I I, I feel like we we came in kind of kind of uh kind of hot. Uh, but welcome to Nerds of Culture, everyone. Uh, <laughs> where oh, yeah. uh we are well for us we are the nerds of culture, but we are also nerds of the culture. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Uh. 
of course. I, I feel like I should introduce this. I feel like I don't inter. I don't know if I do. I introduce this normally. I don't. I feel like such a a, a lazy uh, 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 co-host here. Um, y'all know who I am, obviously, because if you're here, then you've probably watched me before. But mm -hmm. just in case, I'm Ernie Blur Without Fear, Blur Minus Fear on Twitter. Uh, but there's also uh, Robo of Left Face TV and also Cipher of just Chris Cipher. Uh, so, man, we got some stuff. We got some stuff uh, that I kind of want to... <sighs> some stuff I kind of want to get into. Uh, but before we get into that, we got to... We got we got it. We got to do some stuff. We got to do some stuff. Uh, first and foremost, got to pay some bills around this bitch. Um, so I'm going to say right now, I don't have anything. <laughs> what was that? So then drag dragons down my micro check sanctions are expensive. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and I have no self-control. Uh, but that that said, uh, we uh, we we do have uh, for one uh blurred.com so if you are uh unfamiliar uh blurred.com has been really good to this channel and uh we we rocks with blurred.com uh but most importantly uh you can and I, I know some people don't know this uh per se but you yes you talking about you you can go to blurred.com uh which is uh blurred.com forward slash blurred shop if you use the promo code blurred without fear, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe you can get a sizable percentage off on your purchase. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's actually like 10% at the very least. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, make sure you go do that. Uh, also, if you are an aspiring streamer or content creator of some sort, uh, Guess what else you can uh, get a nice little deal on is if you go to Elgato.com, if you want to pick up like a capture card or uh, one of these, I can't pull this up because I'll, I'll break some shit, but if you want one of their fancy mic stands or their fancy key lights that I have shining down on my my face, uh, yeah. Yeah, one of those. One of those right there the Cypher just put up. Uh, you can use the promo code. Uh, it, actually, the link is in the description. It kind of describes all this perfectly. But if you <sighs> go to the link in the description and use the promo code, I believe it is ZZ-Blurred without fear, you will get 5% uh, off on uh, your purchases. Uh, but it's it only applies to products, not like services or anything like that. So make sure to keep that in mind. Um... I think that's all my bill paying that I got to do. Uh, and then we also have super chats, super chats. That's the other bill paying right there. Um, mm. Let's see. We've got one right here. Damaris Love with the three months in the Blur Club, uh, Club gold mine. Says these kids today are making my head hurt with all these comments about everything is woke. Grow up. <sighs> Dude, these kids would not have survived. They would not have survived in the, the 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 70s the 80s the 90s i, I think the early aughts like kind of spoiled some people because <laughs> that was when it was like okay to be like you know, a chud like it was it was you more acceptable <laughs> like it was okay to say the r word the f word like on the regular like it was normalized <laughs> but what's what was funny about that though is i was actually thinking about this the other day you're right Mm. Right, Xbox Live. You're right. Right. Mm -hmm. What the kinds of words that we would say, and all that. Absolutely. But Care Bears, right? Uh, <laughs> like, like even even the X Men cartoon. You know mm -hmm. I, what what they what they were going for. How on the nose it was. Mm -hmm. Very very on the nose. Drug Captain awareness. Planet, drug awareness. Mm -hmm. Captain Planet. Captain He's a hero. Planet. Listen, He's take pollution down to zero. The most diverse team, and literally the entire comic book was about the environment. Mm -hmm. I mean, come they had on. segments. Like, they had segments after know? the show to teach you about like yeah. recycling and shit. The world what? is yours. Like that was like how it, how it ended. What are they talking about? What the what are they talking about as far <laughs> as like look what they're ruining comics with woke? I'm like, look, 
motherfucker. You Just know. because you said the F slur and the R slur and everything else in real life doesn't mean your comic books were doing that shit. No. Nah. Because we literally had two big ass comics, the like Care Bears, uh, and 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 uh, Captain Planet. Literally, Care Bears talking about, I'm gonna defeat you with the power of kindness. Care Bears, stare. <laughs> you know, and it's like. Okay, who, that's, who's, that's the '80s, though. You know what I'm saying? Who, like, who's your guys' favorite Care Bear? Come on, lay it out there. Oh, I don't even know. I, don't, I think uh, Care Bears was Saturday morning, so like I'm familiar with it. But long story. Oh, you guys haven't watched it yet? Oh no, no. I I could tell you. I could tell you. <laughs> I, I was. I would be a liar if I said I did not have plushies of both uh, Grumpy Bear and Bedtime Bear. Um, though, the, like, because the, they were near and dear to my heart because I loved to sleep, and even as a kid, I was kind of grumpy. Like, I mean, I was nice, but, like, I didn't like other kids. So, like, I was always a uh, grumpy bear. Um, but, yeah, no, they, oh. these these kids would not have survived. They would not have survived. I think you brought up Static Shock. And, I, and you know, it's funny, though, because when I think about Static Shock, the first thing that pops into mind was, was it Richie? The whole episode with his racist-ass dad? Mm-hmm. It was a whole, whole episode. It was, like, no crime fighting. It was literally... Uh, Richie, like, you know, arguing with his dad about his friendship with Virgil. That was literally the episode. That was it. That was it. It, it, yeah, pushing pushing the woke agenda, you know. Also, can I just say, Captain America, don't ever tell me that there are no politics, there never were any politics in comics. Because let me tell you something that comic was literally propaganda, yeah, 100%. It was that that comic was propaganda that just so happened to be marketable and profitable. (laughs) Uh, G.I. Joe, anyone? G.I. Oh. Joe. Oh, yeah. you remember the service anna- uh, public service announcement in G.I. Mm-hmm. Joe? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There was this one where, like, was it like with the, uh, with the Mexican piñata stand? <laughs> <laughs> that family guy did a whole bit on? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was going to say cartoon to everybody, but I was like, word? Piñata dude, we, we used to get all kind of, like, cartoons used to be, dude, cartoons were so woke. Cartoons, comics, toys. All that shit. It was woke. Also, can I just say, Star Trek. A world. A, a, a universe. Universal health care. Universal basic income. No I mean, one has I mean, to work if they don't want to. That actually is, wasn't it? That's the first uh, interracial kiss on TV? Yeah, first interracial kiss on network television. Get out, bro. Mm-hmm. Respecting oh. other human beings? Yeah. On your same planet? Nah. Yeah. Nah. Respect all life on all planets, yeah. regardless of this. <laughs> like, careful there. Careful there. Yeah. <laughs> it's, on. it's like, look, look, we like everybody. All species matter type but, shit. Right but, but look, look, look. But the clean ons. <laughs> hey, hey, look, look, look. I got a bunch of clean ons friends back home, bro. Hey, look. Yeah. <laughs> look, and then, then the next generation came on. Had the token cling on. Yeah. Like, okay, <laughs> well, no, he's, no. He's one of the good ones, clearly. They 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 introduced a new species that everybody could universally hate. The Cardassians. <laughs> They're mm. like, like, okay, hey, we're cool with the clean ons. But them Cardassians over there? Oh yeah, no, we we don't we don't rock with them. We don't rock with them. Ever ever since the Ray J video, there's the Cardassians could never they nah. even come out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, I love it here sometimes. Uh, we got Go Cutcher's baby's father with the $5 says, wow. And he said, wow, just wow. Why y'all tripping? We getting silver cheeks on a surfboard. I see that as a win, Marvel City boys and girls. Up 100 points, I'll say. And that, here's the thing. This is the universal message I've seen on my Twitter, uh, with the exception of a few chuds here and there. Why are we angry about silver titties? Uh you know why. Uh, As the only titties I want to see is on a man, god damn it. <laughs> it's like, oh, so you want to see lo, lo, you want to see man titties. Okay. I, I mean, that's man, fine. Like, that's fine. A, no silver, judgment. <laughs> I want a silver Ken doll on a surfboard touching planets. <laughs> oh my god. Stomped is it. I thought Lissa was supposed to play the surfer. LOL, JK. Love the show, guys, and we appreciate you. Thank you for that $4.99. I actually, actually want to see that. I mean, I would like to see Lizzo covered up and dancing on that surfboard. Did didn't Lizzo yeah. get out the game? Did she get out the game? Is she that she was retiring or some shit? No, 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 no. She came back uh, and said, well, "No, I would, she, 
Well, what she said was, and she made a whole video about like, I, though, when I said, I said, I quit, I said, I quit all the negative energy, all the negative comments. And I'm like, oh, oh how, okay. about, how about you quit? How about you quit uh, with all oh, the good. body shaming you do with your dancers and all the toxic, uh, to toxic shit you do with the people who work for you? You know, maybe try some of that quitting, huh? Ooh. <laughs> Damn. Ooh. Man. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. I said it. I Damn. said it. <laughs> Damn. Well, hey, yeah. you know what? It's not hot no, yes. I know, I know yes to this. Good. <laughs> Every time left face does something left, uh, left face ish, is it like a hockey where it would change the aspect ratio of his camera? <laughs> I'm going to have to come up with something like that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to cook up something. No, bro. Every time he says something, it just like flips his shit. <laughs> well, I was just like, mm. what, what, which way am I facing on y'all? Right? So it's, it's for you, right. you're yeah. facing to the right. Yeah. For me, yeah, you're yeah, facing to the right. Not, yeah. not funny, a, a, a button to flip. Like, oh, here you go. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's gone. He's gone left face mode. <laughs> I love it here. I I'll absolutely an love it here. I'll be an, like, oh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> you don't understand. When he turns his face left, he destroys worlds. It's on. It's on, <laughs> it's on and popping. Uh, oh, we got a... Um, oh, man. Yeah, we got uh, one here from uh, Midnight Monarchy with a... <clears throat> 1999. Da -da 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 would be through the roof on this video. Smash that uh, button. Thank you. Thank you. If you don't get it, y'all need to watch Left Face TV. That's a reference. There you go. Hey, this, is the, <laughs> this is the multiverse here. You got to watch all parts to get it, you know? If you skip out on Loki, you're not going to get the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying. You got to watch Left Face TV so you can get the jokes on Nerds of Culture. You know what I'm saying? And vice just, versa, really. You know? Yeah, um, actually, yeah, because there, there is some crosstalk there. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, also says, hope you guys are well. Cypher, how's the fam and puppy? Keep it up, guys. All good, fam. Everybody's good, everybody's happy, healthy, and eating. That's what's up. Mm. Uh, what is it? Here we go, right here. Uh, Damaris Love with the 499 says, uh, dare to keep kids off drugs nowadays is dare not to hurt kids' feelings, bruh. Damn. I, like, y'all remember McGruff? Y'all remember McGruff the crime dog? Yeah, I don't know if that's like just a me thing or if it's like something yeah. I dreamed up in my head, but um, it's like a fever dream. I mean, it probably is. It 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 it, it, it very well uh, likely could be. Uh, <laughs> you guys might be able to remember this because to me, I think I'm, I I think I imagine it. Didn't McGruff and Smokey the Bear had like a crossover public service annou announcement event? I believe so. Yeah, because yeah, well, cause Smokey the Bear was all about you know the forest fires. The forest fires. And yeah, you know, McGruff was all about like you know getting drugs off the streets, which is just yeah, wild. Yeah, yeah, that's not, that sounds about right. Sure. He's yeah, like, he's like, he's like, like, yeah, don't I, smoke weed in the forest, some shit like that. I don't know. <laughs> look, all I know is is that like w once or twice a year, uh, both McGruff and Smokey the Bear would show up at my school. That's all I knew. Okay, <laughs> some some, line. <laughs> some dude, some dude in a costume would show up in the 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 McGruff. Let me see if I can actually. I'm gonna see if I can actually find. Yeah, and uh, it was during. Uh, what do you what do you call them when everybody had to go to the to the auditorium? Yeah, it was Ever like Drug them? Awareness Week. It was drug yeah, awareness. It's called, it's called something when everybody had to go to the to the to the like an assembly or some shit. Assembly, assembly. Yeah, that's that's and good. they would always have the cops. The cops would always be there too, and they would have like samples of what drugs look like. And it, it, so, so that way you would program. know. You know what the you know what the realest meme I've ever seen is is like, uh, the only thing I'm mad about is that nobody's offering me as many drugs as as uh, my dare counselor said they would. <laughs> Bruh, nah, dude, like, I'm like, saying, where's my shit? Like, where, where's my money? Like, like no, this, this is <laughs> no, my, my, my favorite. My favorite one is the with the dare line. Uh, they were like, "Well, we all let this motherfucker down." <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, y'all really gonna be out here like you know, smoking these rocks and shit? I've uh, never. I would never smoke weed or drink alcohol. Yeah, here you go. Bam, right there. That, that's a... Uh, yeah, that, there you go. Uh, yeah, McGruff. Yeah, McGruff mad at us. McGruff is all the way mad. He's like... He's like, really? He's like, 
<laughs> He's like, ain't he, this about a there? bitch? <laughs> was he there or just anti-crime? Because I'm, I'm pretty good with the crime part. Well, his Remember thing was mostly drugs, like McGruff. Oh, was it? Oh. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he talked about like other stuff too, but like it was always more in relation to drugs, more than yeah. anything else. But yeah, that was, yeah, that 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 was that was a thing. It was a thing that used to happen. Yeah, <laughs> Herbert Scott said McGruff wanted to say nigga real bad. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like you darkies out here uh, here selling this crystal meth to this PCP he will, he will only bark, uh, bark at black people you know what I'm saying yeah. <laughs> wait dude I forgot yeah help take a bite out of, yeah that was his slogan help take a bite out of crime dude that shit was wild I, 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 yeah I love that shit it, it, was, it was so terrible <laughs> uh, what was it uh, oh by the way I want to bring up something too because you know since we're talking about this this is funny to me that, that, it, that it comes up so organically but uh, it, it also give me time to uh, uh, to to bring up this uh, this uh, this video but uh, how uh, so we got one here five dollars go contrary baby's father says you could tell the woke, you could tell the ones that are crying woke were the ones that never sat at the table that roasted each other <laughs> <laughs> Is it's, it's like see you didn't see if you'd have known if you'd have known if you'd have known um i'm trying to see if i can find this commercial though like it was a uh, i'm trying to see because it, it was just it was so weird it was one of those oh that's where it was i found it i found it i found it it's amazing the things you can type in and find <laughs> shit uh i typed in out. snake anti-drug PSA and that motherfucker came up lord have mercy y'all we are about to be in for a treat y'all we are about to be in for a treat I tell you oh just just you watch my friend just you watch uh let me see here I think I actually have I'm, I'm gonna double check myself here I want to make sure I have uh I want to make sure I have my shit set up so that y'all will be able to hear this because that's kind of half the fun Yes, okay, mm -hmm. we're set. We're set. Uh so let me set the table for you. This is one of the this is one of the early well not the earliest, but this is the freakiest drug commercial I've ever watched in my entire life. I just want to put that out there. Mm. And some of y'all probably know what it is. Like freaky, like freaky dicky, or like No, like, like it scared me. Okay. Got like it's it. like as a kid, it 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 wait, fucked wait, my wait, head wait, up. Wait, yeah. But uh let's let's uh here let's let let's let let's get into it. Let's get into it. Uh actually can I get rid of that and will it Okay, there it goes. That should make it better. All right, let's do it. Hey little dude, send your mom and daddy out of the room. I got to get you up on this. You know who I am, Snake. Dealing in weed, coke, crack, your choice. Take one hit and you'll do anything to cop more. Steal from your mama, lie, cheat on your homeboys. But hey, that's the price you pay when you deal with dudes like me. Now, some folks will tell you that I'm dealing in poison. But hey, do I look like the kind of guy that would do that to a kid like you? Yes! <laughs> so Damn. so yeah this is what i saw as a kid i never wanted to touch drugs after that <laughs> oh, it, it worked. It, 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 oh no not for long what by the time i forgot oh. about this commercial <laughs> right here a little, a little <laughs> bass from the background said send your mom and daddy out the room <laughs> Cause that's what he said at the beginning. He said, "Send your here. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play it again. I'm gonna play it again." Oh, hey, little dude, send your mom and daddy out of the room. I gotta get you up on this. You know who I am, Snake. Dealing in weed, coke, crack. Your choice. Take one hit and you'll do anything to cop more. Steal from your mama. Lie. Cheat on your homeboys. Well, yeah. hey, that's the price you pay when you deal with dudes like me. Now, some folks will tell you that I'm dealing in poison. But hey, do I look like the kind of guy that would do that to a kid like you? Yes. By the way. Dude. The backhand I will receive from my mom say, hey, Ma, get the fuck out of the room. This dude's going to tell me something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... It's like so slap it. This one through drugs. Like, I mean, the, the, the snake man on the screen told me to, mama. Uh, yeah. 
But yeah, that that, that was some wild, wild shit. shit. That's some wild shit. But you know what's funny about that kind of shit? It's the same kind of shit that you would see when it comes to like when they would warn you about pedos or, or people who want to kidnap you and this, this and that. They always looked like it. You know what I mean? They always looked the part. And it's like it got to tell the wrong message. Uh, yeah. Because you know who loved this commercial? Normal everyday dudes named Brett who is still going to sh- sell you all the same shit. It's like, but I'm, come on, I'm not that guy. I'm That's not, not that me. guy. Yeah. I'm not not me, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a scorpion. Yeah. Totally a scorpion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking lizard people. I did. Like I said, it was, it, it was that, that was some wild ass shit back then. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, that said, uh, that said, yeah, we got a lot to talk about. <laughs> Michael DeFonte, Dr. Midnight coming Ooh. in, coming through. That's what's up. That's oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Do we need to say out loud. Dude, yes. Do we need to say out loud that we're not encouraging people to do drugs? Because I, f- I feel we've been shitting on all of these PSA. I f- like, do we need to like have a disclaimer? The nurse of culture don't want you to get on drugs. But it's not uh, weed. Well, I, 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 I'll, I'll speak for, for 33% of nerds of culture. I'll say, you do whatever the fuck you want. You're a grown-ass man, I'm saying. A uh, grown-ass person. Shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, I, lo- I love this part here. Cobra Law is at it again. <laughs> look, see? look. See? Cobra. La, 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 See, G- where was G.I. Joe when this was going on, huh? My drug dealer couldn't look like that. My blood cannot look like that. Can you imagine? No. Nah. Okay, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Manny said she had people with yo-yos uh, show up. She said she hated it. <laughs> Ooh, look. Man, never the hacky sack. Do people still do the hacky sacks outside of, outside of campus, like in, in college? Is that still a thing? I, I, I definitely I, look. I I went to high school in San Diego, and let me tell you, groups of people doing hacky sack. That's like, I thought that was everywhere. I didn't know that was just like a thing that people made fun of. Like I'm like, oh wait. Mm. Yeah. Matter of fact, it was so much that it happened so much in my high school that I was mad. I sucked at it. Man, <laughs> I would try to practice. Oh, yeah. I'm like, why wasn't I in the hacky sack group? Not because I was too cool. Because I, I sucked at it. That's yeah. <laughs> oh no, like I knew like the cats I used to hang out with, they played hacky sack and I yeah. was terrible at it. So yeah. I when they started playing, I'd be like, Well, I guess I'm gonna go home and watch Dragon Ball Z. That's it. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm gonna go they home and watch stall. Dragon Ball. Uh, you know, I, I know some the garbage they can stall when they, they catch it on the foot, stop it for a second, yeah, to get it going again, and I'm nah. like that's so cool. My friends were lame. Well, All they want to do is go to like house parties and smoke weed. What a losers, man. None of them want to hacky sack me. L L's in the chest. I was a hacky sack kid. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry, G said again. Imagine watching this commercial after seeing Darkwing Duck and then you're too scared to watch gummy bears when it came on after. Bruh, <laughs> bruh, let me tell you something. Not the gummy bears. <laughs> it do, do b- bouncing here and there and everywhere, and I would not see it because I'd be like, I'd be hiding under my fucking bed. Oh uh, yeah, dudes. Ooh man, that 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 shit used to. I, like I said, like today, I think it's funny. You know, it's hilarious to me. But like uh, back then, as a kid, dude, that shit weirded me the fuck out because I didn't know, like, because like you you know because tvs weren't even that good back then so like to mm-hmm. see him change it was so weird i was like dude, i was like what the fuck is going on with dude's face like did he yeah yeah i was like yeah. what's, what's this and then it kept changing and i was like i'm like i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie i don't remember i i usually like y'all see shit like that and it'll take me back i don't remember that commercial i've never seen that commercial or if i have i forgot right um right here i did that that shit was kind of scary i'm just gonna say like when the bike went by and his face kind of turned he's like i'm like Right. to his face i'm like, like oh, bro I don't, I don't like that i don't like that at all <laughs> no, that's, no, that's scary as fuck man i can't <laughs> <laughs> dude imagine being yeah, <laughs> <I'm not saying. laughs> like I, I wish that shit came out when i was in high school because that would have like i would be like i'm like bro dude his face just like fuck <laughs> Man, did that shit just change? I would be scared. I would eat exactly that right there. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is in this shit? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, bread, you know <laughs> like, I'd have the fucking water bong in my hand. Just be like. like 
oh, I was like, dude, this shit must be cash, man, because this shit ain't, dude, I don't know if this shit's hidden too. <laughs> no, you need to try this. I was watching TV yesterday. Dude turned into a snake. This is the best shit I ever saw. <laughs> God damn. Also, also. The cameras is woke as fuck, man. <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> this motherfucker is not the, the woke, the woke hey, bears. Hey, so you you were you were in the middle of talking about what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk oh, about um, yes, 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 uh, yes, yes. You know, we we about silver cheeks, but not just that. Oh yes, we're also gonna, we're also gonna talk about uh old old uh, Eddie hitting the ejection button. Yeah, uh, old man. Ed Pisker, and he answer, said, "Fuck answer, this answer. shit, I'm out." He canceled his life subscription. He really did. Mm-hmm. He really fucking did. <laughs> like, like yeah. in so many ways. Um, so I think yeah. we'll have some hot takes about that. So yeah. Oh yeah. No, we. We'll, I'm. I'm. I'm certain. We are probably gonna piss some people off. Um, and that is. Cool. And you know what? It's okay. I think that's okay. I actually think that's. Yeah, it is. I think that's okay. I. I, I think well, that there I are fates too. worse than uh than that i think there's there's fates worse than being pissed off uh you know what my granny used to say it better pissed to on. be pissed on uh pissed off than pissed on goddamn right <laughs> goddamn right uh but you oh, know oh, oh, so we think shaming now that's what we're doing i mean true dang grandma I'll be better damn, <laughs> damn, it, damn we did it uh so real quick i do want to say um one thing we got asked about last week, I wasn't really prepared to talk about it because I just didn't really have anything to say. I hadn't really fully processed. Uh, I hadn't really fully processed the whole situation, and um, I didn't really know what to think about it, so I, I kind of want to jump into that just real quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that is the... Um, that is the Good Times uh, situation over uh, on on lay netflix uh which man i don't know did, did y'all watch did, y'all said y'all watch, i think y'all watched the trailer i think i was the only one that didn't um the good times uh for oh, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah the one that it's one they're doing for netflix where ba- like it, there, i I've, i have some opinions about it uh now that i don't believe uh that i had before so here let's let's um Real quick, so for those that do not know, if you somehow been living under a rock, the the corporate entity Netflix has decided to mine black nostalgia, probably in the worst way humanly possible, and it's by bringing back a beloved television series of yesteryear in the form of an animated series. Um, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm a, like, I, you know, my reason for yeah, because universally, I, I feel like a lot of people just do not like this trailer. They do not like the show, like what it looks like it's going to represent. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't like it either. Mm. But not exactly for the same reasons I've heard other people say. Like, there's some people say, oh, it looks racist. Oh, it looks like it plays into black you know, stereotypes. I don't like that shit either. But I'm going to tell mm. you another reason why I don't think this is going to work out for all parties involved. Uh, and who knows? Maybe I could be wrong. This doesn't even look like good times. Like, oh yeah, it. it this is, and I'm not talking about because it's animated. You, know, it's stylized. I mean, it's just like none of the characters even look remotely recognizable as the characters mm-hmm. they're supposed to be. Yeah, you know what I mean. And, and it's kind it's, of, it's, yeah, yeah, it's following the Family Guy, which I mean, to be fair, it, there's a reason why. There's this, uh, there, there's a there's a bit of a reason as to why. Uh, all involved in this. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, so, so, uh, chief among them. Uh, I don't know why they had to drag poor Steph Curry into this, but uh, <laughs> I don't know why they had to drag his poor ass into this. But uh, it's called a, it's called a paycheck. Hey man, you yeah. asking enough? You yeah. <laughs> you 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 could you could co-sign this and, and and carry some water for us. But no, uh, Norman Lear, a guy who is famous for. Uh, uh, putting black sitcoms, you know, or, or, or really just black people in sitcoms, uh, mm-hmm. kind of on the map. 
uh, you know, this this guy, he's a legend in the business, and you know, I'm not going to take any of that away from him. But yeah, you know, this is apparently you know something that he put his name on. Seth MacFarlane put his name on it as well, which is why when you look at the character makeup, this is literally the makeup of every Seth MacFarlane animated series you're ever going to watch. Mm. Like, there's always the either, in the case of American Dad, it's, you know, more of a muscular man. But, like, if you look at, like, his Family Guy, his Cleveland show, you have your Peter Griffin uh, here on the right. You have your Stewie Griffin, because there's always a baby. There's always a baby or, 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 or some otherwise, if, if they're not a baby, there's some kind of a man-childish character. Like, in the case of American Dad, it's, uh, it's Roger. Roger. Mm -hmm. uh so instead of being a baby he's an alien who just has the mentality of a of a, of a baby mm -hmm. um you've got the the wife who is probably the more the most reasonable character on the show most right. of the time uh and, and then you have not. right yeah you yeah, usually it's the case you got the 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 brother well i mean you know obviously you know there's the baby but you have like the two like like the brother and sister that are closer in age which you know, every that's every it's, this is literally just like I feel like these were the jokes that Seth MacFarlane knew he couldn't get away with on Cleveland show because mm. I don't know if it, like I, I, I'm gonna go ahead right now y'all might have to pull my shit but uh I liked Cleveland show it got mm -hmm. a little weird at times but like mm -hmm. largely only because of the fact that like if you knew the inside baseball of the show you knew that at least three of the characters in the family were voiced by the same dude mm -hmm. and was not black. It was the, uh, you know, it, it was the same guy who did the voice of Cleveland Brown, uh, mm -hmm. who is a whole white man, uh, he used to, I don't think he does the voice anymore, but, um, but yeah, like it, that, that show had its own other set of problems, but like, yeah, I feel mm -hmm. like a lot of the jokes that they bring up in this show, I'm not going to lie. I don't find them funny. <laughs> yeah. like yeah. The, the, the the whole formula i mean i feel like unless unless anybody could tell me earlier than that i feel like the formula is is set by the simpsons right mm -hmm. baby brother sister fat dad and, and then yeah. skinny attractive mom, like hot mom right? yeah uh, king, yeah, yeah. King, king of queens did it and, mm -hmm. and everybody loves raymond did it it's, it's, a, it's a formula right um I don't know if it's going to be funny, but I think what you said at the beginning is like the biggest part. It's mm -hmm. the same kind of shit that people said about Thelma. Um, and we'll, and we'll watch it. We'll watch it. And then we, we'll talk more about it, but it's the mm -hmm. same thing that everybody said about Thelma, but I didn't agree when I saw Thelma, even though they made a, uh, you know, made her uh, Indian. Um, it still looked like Thelma to me just cause she's Brown. Doesn't mean that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But this right here, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you, when I saw this, uh, I remember Elidex one put it in the uh, put it in the in the Discord, and I'm watching mm -hmm. it for half a second. I I didn't know what Good Times was. <laughs> I was yeah. like, Wait, I thought I thought I knew what Good Times was. What what is this? Oh no, I I, I had to look it up because like I saw this and I was like, this yeah. don't look shit like that. Exactly. Like I'm, I'm like I'm like wait I was thinking like dynamite uh, well, right right no I, same. I I like, maybe 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 I got the name wrong because this cartoon is not that what is this yeah I, mean, I was what? like no it, that's supposed to be this I'm like come on even if you want to modernize I'm fine with modernizing it like all mm -hmm. right what if good times happen you know 2024 can right you, right and you let it can you like make some connection here like <laughs> it, it, the thing is I don't feel you can I honestly yeah, do not feel no. you can I I I, I fail to see. I, I like it, and, and I don't know. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I I know the one of the actors that was originally on the show, uh, John Amos. Even he said uh, uh, that that yeah, he just doesn't really know what the hell's going on here. Mm. Uh, but. Uh, he was like, yeah, and, and not even to say that, like, he was actually quite diplomatic. I'll actually put it like this. Mm -hmm. He was actually incredibly diplomatic uh, with the situation, mm -hmm. like probably even more diplomatic than I personally would have uh, would have been myself. But like here, I'm going I'm to pull this up so we can uh, take a, a peek at it. 
But uh, yeah, right here, let's do, yeah, right there, bam. Here, let's uh, zoom her in some more. He says, I really can't form an opinion as I've not seen any of the episodes yet. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, Norman Lear and the entire cast of company set the bar pretty high. They'll have a hard time reaching that level of entertainment and education. I wish them the best. I see people aspiring to that, but I don't see anybody reaching that goal, especially in an animated version. Uh, which I think is, that, that, that was the most diplomatic way of saying, man, fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was, well, he's like, look, he, he's like, I got McDowell's to make, okay? He's like, I got McDowell's sandwiches uh, uh, and, and golden arcs uh, 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 to deliver. I don't have time for this foolishness. Um, are, you trying to, uh, are you trying to watch it, or you think it's yeah, going to Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I'll, honestly, worst case scenario, I'll just cut it out. Uh this is the one that got me, though, real quick, before we even jump in, because this is very yeah. uh, telling. Uh, Bernadette Stannis, who was also on the show originally and also is in this reboot. She's actually voicing a character in this reboot. Uh, she says, probably a lot of people don't know how Hollywood works. A lot of times you use a certain name to open the door for a new show. That could be what it is. But I'm sure a lot of people will be a little confused at first because they have to think it's us. They think, oh, my God, that's got to be uh, Thelma, JJ, Michael. And then you come in here and you don't see anything like that. Mm. Um, and she goes on to say that um, uh, I did a little voice for them, but I did not know it was going to be the way it is. I thought it was going to be different. It's just a little here and there. But I think that they did that because they knew what their show was going to be like. So I guess they figured if you put us in there, it wouldn't look so bad or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, like it's, which this is a little let this, she, and this is a diplomatic statement in and of itself as well. Of but course. but but also damning in the sense that she basically said the the quiet, well, not the quiet part, but just like what everyone else is thinking as yeah, well yeah she she didn't quite say it out loud but she raised her voice a little bit yeah, yeah. <laughs> look look somewhere norman lear and seth mcfarland were like what happened what like, you say yeah <laughs> oh my okay. bad i was just i was just thinking out loud my bad i was just yeah trying, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. You, know, you know what show did it well and it's not animated it's not you know i don't think it counts but fresh Prince and bel-air you know what i'm saying yeah like, when bel-air Bel Bel dropped reward. yeah it's good you know it's different yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not. It's not a one for one. It's a modernized tale. It's more dramatic. It, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You watch it, and you know who the Fresh Prince is. You recognize the characters. Who, by the way, and this is another thing that I want to make clear. I'm not even talking about the character models. You, I mean, if you haven't seen the trailer yet, you'll see in a second. Like, mm -hmm. not just character models, but the character models, the personalities. The They're holiday, all different. The, the, like nothing. Nothing is the same. You know what I mean? But Bel Air, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't look like Will Smith. No. You know what I mean? Like, the dad doesn't look like Will Smith. He's not a fat judge. He's actually kind of an in-shape dude. Yeah. But you can still see... Uh, uh, yeah, you yeah. can still see Uncle Bill. It's him. the like, energy. You, you know what's happening, and you know who's who. By the way... What's going on here? I don't can know. Can I just add this? It's not, it's not productive of the conversation, but you know in Spanish, the French prince is called El Principe del Rap, which translates to the Prince of Rap. The Prince of Rap? Interesting. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. yeah. It, but it's weird when they uh, do translations of shows or characters in Spanish, they do it, it's off. It's, it does never really translate uh, exactly. Home Alone is my little angel, mi pequeño angelito. It's weird, but continue. Oh, really? Oh, whoa. Yeah, yeah I have a whole list. But yeah, okay. Go ahead. All right. Not productive to the conversation <laughs> at all. Hey, would you, would, you, would you play this blur? Check DMs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha, 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 right, gotcha. Right. Uh, here, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, doing spooky. that now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah. All right, so here, let's. I'll, I'll do that while I mess around with this. Bam. I have important news. Let me guess. The state called and they want to cut you a disability check for your face. Hold up. You can get paid for that? This is from a fool who stares at his orange juice every morning. It says concentrate on the box. <laughs> who the dummy now? Shit. Me for not wearing a condom. Woo! started with my grandfather james evans my job as the man of this house is to take care of this family no matter what i just want to let you know i'm gonna take good care of gray <laughs> no! 
Wait, what excuse me? Juan, my boyfriend. Daddy, let him go. Maybe you should come with me. Junior's repeating the 10th grade for the third time. Is there anything you can suggest to help him get to the drive through Can you do OnlyFans? Take off your shoes. Let me see what kind of feet you're working with. <laughs> wow. Dear Black <laughs> Heavenly Father, College Redeemer, uh, if wow. you could just help us. Son, it's for you. New phone. Who this? At least they ain't got that drug dealing baby under my roof no more. Hmm. Man, my mouth ready for some milk right now. Dalvin, why are you so breast obsessed? It's childish, man. Bruh, I'm a baby. I can't get no more childish than that. Oh my god. State of mind. Your neighborhood is a real shithole. It's the system. They put the guns and drugs on the streets. This is getting dangerous. I won't just sit back and let you put yourself in harm's way. I love you too bad much. Everything, everything black. The revolution would not be televised. Come on, Rosa Paws. Can't you just enjoy this? That's supposed to be Elon Musk. <laughs> yeah. We're just as good as the Evans of old. Isn't that just dynamite? But the truth is, we're the Evans of new. You look like money. Right. Everything, everything black. What about Bruh, the struggle? We're here. black. It'll be here tomorrow. Everything black, black bird, black moon, black sky, black, 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 everything black. Wait, Wait hey. a minute. The baby? Little baby? And baby baby? Too many babies around this crib. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, question. So, uh, yeah, can we shoot. Look at, do we have a screenshot maybe of uh, Steph Curry's uh, bank account? Because I want to see some. I want to see what changed. <laughs> I want to. I want to see. <laughs> just for educational purposes, I want to see. Uh, Here, wait a minute. Because he couldn't have seen that shit and be like, "Yeah, I approve." <laughs> Here, wait. So, I want. Uh, I, I, I want. I want to. I want to look up some just just for my own. Just yeah, for my right? own edification. <laughs> Uh, own piece of mind. <laughs> Steph Curry is uh, well. Let me see how how old is this, this? This is an article from November of last year. As of present time, Steph Curry is has a net worth of one hundred and sixty million dollars. That's too many millions. There's too many millions. There's too many. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many millions of dollars to be doing dumb ass shit like this. I'm sorry. It you just know, it ain't you know, happening. Some of these jokes is the type yeah. of shit you would hear like in middle school and high school of like the same. Tired ass jokes. It's up there where like, do you even have a dad? Like, that's how I felt about some of these. Like, some of these yeah. jokes. Like, I'm like, yeah, like you went there. Like, it's low hanging for? fruit. It's like low like, hanging yeah. fruit shit. Mm -hmm. Like, it, which makes me think, right? Because I always remember when Cleveland came back to uh, Quahog, right? And Quagmire asked them, like, when they were roasting him up at the show, Quagmire asked him, like, who was the show for? For a black person who has never met a black person before? And literally, mm -hmm. I'm looking at this. I'm looking no. at this, and I'm like, who is? It? Is this for? A, this is for white people. Let's call it for what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is for the unmelanated yeah. crowd to be like, oh, they're, that's exactly how they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's There's a target audience, and, and that don't mean that you can't be of color or black and, and like it, you know what I mean? Uh, but you could, you just, you just know when you're not the target audience. It just so happens to be that black and brown people are used to not being yeah. the target audience. So you learn to like shit that's, even if it's not for us. <laughs> like, oh, Quick, just... learn, press the button, switch his axis. <laughs> oh no! Oh, wait a minute! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Hold on, wait. Wait, let me see. Wait, yeah, yeah, wait, you, no, really, really, wait, really. wait, no. You, you, you just, you just. But uh, hold, let me see. Like, can I flip horizontal? Boom! Look at there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. got his ass. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> got his ass. Yeah, he hey. he, he, he This is this is the real left face TV right here. This is all. Oh, um, he even hey. looks different. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what's fucked up? I switched too. There you go. He's like, uh, he's like, he's like, he's like, no. I'm, so, I'm such a follower. Like, <laughs> damn. He's like, I don't even have my own opinions. Damn. Oh, shit. Well, oh, shit. I just, I, I, all, I, all I'll say about it is this: is uh, yeah, they they used. Uh, or, or rather, they wanted to have the cachet <laughs> of something like a Boondocks, but the, I think mm -hmm. what they didn't realize is, is that like. Boondocks is funny because it's not laughing at 
the audience. It's laughing with the audience. It's not trying to, it, 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 it's not trying to, like, like case in point, like some of those jokes, like there was one, there was one joke in the whole thing and it was actually the one that was towards the end, like right before they, they jumped to the baby. Oh, uh, you know, when, when it's like, oh, well, you know, what about the struggles? Like we black struggle will be here tomorrow. I was like that. I was like, I was like, you know what? That's like the one good joke I've heard in all of this. That like one that was like, like where I'm actually la like I'm, I'm laughing because I was like, yeah, it's kind of funny, but you know, it, but more, not really even so much funny because it's funny, but funny because of how true it is. Mm -hmm. But then like all the other stuff where they're like, oh, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, was it talking about you know, how the you know, drugs and guns are getting pushed to the neighborhood show these mm -hmm. dudes like in the projects like shooting at each other and shit like like it's like from the windows right like it was done in such a way that i was kind of like i was like there like i mean i don't know and, and maybe i would have to see the episode to see it like in motion mm -hmm. to really get the full effect but i can just tell you right now just looking at it from the trailer i looked at it and i wasn't necessarily so much offended as i was just like really I was like, this oh. this is the best you got. Like this this is you you thought so, you thought you thought black folks were gonna laugh at this shit. Well, I mean, the biggest difference between Boondocks and this is the fact that Boondocks has an entire black writing writing staff. So that's true. Yeah, I mean, Rod, Rod, Rodney right. Barnes was a writer producer on that. Nah, you know what I'm saying? So, mm. And also, quick shout out: Regina King kills it as the voice of Huey uh, Huey and Riley. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, hundred percent, hundred percent. Like uh, like. We need to give her flowers because the fact and her regular speaking voice is so different from both voices, amazing, phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I decided to go live on on my side to got CG giving some inside baseball. He says that whenever you do these kind of uh, animations, um, they uh, they do the voices first. Typically, voices are first, and it mm -hmm. makes sense. Remember, remember the debacle yeah. with uh, the new killer on DVD. Mm -hmm. and uh, and the trans voice and and how upset she was and she goes i did not know the killer was going to be like that uh it ended up being this disfigured conglomeration one of the skins has a dress on but it's still he him on, on as they described the killer and it's like she had no idea what she was getting into so uh, that was that was said in the, in the topic of like what is steph curry thinking like a lot of these people that come in they're like okay good times all right i want to i want to i want to be on the i want to be a part of some yeah. some black comedy some black yeah. media and so you do the voices and shit just like just like what you read steph curry might have also looked at that and been like oh uh, what's going on here he's like oh <laughs> shit damn oh, fuck. <laughs> he's like oh fuck <laughs> he's like well i'm gonna have to answer for this huh you know what's crazy because uh... like as you said that the image in my head already like switched. Now I'm not as mad, but at the same time, I'm picturing him and I used to have this conversation. Like, what the fuck were you thinking? <laughs> God. Uh, let's see here. Oh, let's see here. Oh, da -da 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 -da. oh I see why. I see why. Oh, I think I know why. So here it is. Uh, I don't know if you put this in like. <laughs> initially when we were like live or if you put it in before we went live live that might be why i missed it but uh Kwame taylor with the 499 says um uh, says i'm a woke supporter uh for real but picking a uh, female silver surfer instead of nova is mind-boggling that's not woke that's bad writing uh i mean well first off it's not bad writing to because you don't even know what the story is so you can't say it's bad writing you don't know yeah i'll say how like okay you can call for bad writing when you've actually like. First off, let, let's let's be real. Nobody on the screen and nobody in this chat knows the story mm -hmm. of the Fantastic Four movie that will have a female mm -hmm. Silver Surfer in it. Mm -hmm. You don't. If you think you do, I'm gonna tell you right now, you don't. And don't. this is what it is. But I'm not going to say. And I don't think anyone else should either. But, you know, hey, it's free country. You're allowed to be both loud and wrong at the same time. Um, but I don't think anyone can sit here and say that it is bad writing to pick one character over another character. And who's to say you're not going to get a Nova as well? Mm -hmm. I mean, they do have post credits. 
Well, well, no, I was, well, no, here's the thing, though. It, this is the thing. Here's the thing that uh, people aren't even paying attention to, because if I'm not mistaken, in the article, uh, that, uh, this was Deadline, I believe, right? It was Deadline that, yeah. uh, that broke the news. So, yeah, right. in the article, Deadline even points out that it's not even supposed to be the actual Silver Surfer. That it's an alternate universe Silver Surfer. So, and considering that I think we all are pretty keen on the idea that they're doing a lot of multiverse shit right now, mm -hmm. why would you be surprised that it's not the actual Silver Surfer? Because they've had, I got, I, yeah. I got a whole ass claim on that. Uh, but before you lose them, go mm -hmm. ahead and get caught up on, go ahead, if you want to get it caught up on uh, we got, Super Chats. I, yeah, I feel yeah. Like I'm about to lose some. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, no. We got. We, I, feel, we got I, feel, I feel bad for you. Then you gotta go into the. You gotta go into the website. You gotta scroll. Oh up no, no, screen. that's good. I can find that shit. Uh, I, I will also <laughs> read the one ninety nine that Kwame put up. I think my super chat was missed or saved for later. No, I just. I think you put it in like. You might have put yeah. it in when we, as soon as we went live, but I just did not see it. But uh, it it was at the beginning. It's the first super chat, so I presume, considering I saw the other ones, I think you put it in before we actually like went live live. Um, but that said, uh, go contrary's baby's yeah, father with yeah. the $2. I, this is one I can't show. Uh, mm -hmm. it says, uh, my reaction to that trailer is damn, damn, damn. <laughs> Actually, to make, I, you know, I need to put that in the, the video drops. Now we can go for the max damage. We got it now. We're caught up. Uh, no, here. This guy. <laughs> This guy with $100 Gillis Mo says, so it's a bootleg Bebe's kids with every stereotype in full view. This is not for us. Sadly, no, yeah. like Cypher said earlier, uh, you, you, when you were talking about, uh, you know, this is a show for, uh, uh, you know, for, folks. Yeah. For white folks that don't know any black people or case boy is actually a joke that was in the very first episode. Uh, Roberta says like, uh, like what was, she says, uh, uh, like this is like some some TV show that white people make because they think black people will watch it, you know. And it would be like that's what I was telling you before, and doing like the, the zoom in on the face and the big smile. Like honestly, you know what I think? Oh, you know I just realized that's huh. what this is. Uh, this because that was a cutaway gag in Cleveland show. Yeah, but I feel like I think they even are using maybe possibly the same character design for that motherfucker that was in that episode that in that that cutaway. So, I would have to look it up. You saw, you saw the chicken fight, right? Huh? You saw, the, you saw the chicken fight. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. That settles it. In there, I'm saying like yeah. like like. So it's left over assets. So basically, what you're telling me is that my father was trying to empty out his hard drive because he has so many leftover assets from a uh, Family Guy. <laughs> and he goes like, "Dude, let's just make another show. Let's just call it a day." Uh, yeah, no, that, that like, oh wait, here's I, I think I, I, I want to see the writing room. That's what I want to see. I want to see the writing room. I want to see the head writer. I want to see yeah. the writing room. Uh, if it's Todd McFarlane, uh, you know, then we know what's going on. Yeah, we know what time um, it, it is. You, we, we, is it Tom McFarlane? Oh, because I've been saying Seth all night, and nobody has corrected I mean, me. I mean, I mean, I mean, Seth McFarlane. Seth wait, McFarlane. Seth McFarlane. Top McFarlane. Yeah. Uh, that's Spawn. 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 Okay, cool. Okay, I was over here. Like, hey, nobody's gonna correct me. You're just gonna let me be stupid on the interwebs. I take yeah. it back. I take it back. He doesn't look like him, but like it's the energy here. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just play this real quick, uh, just so y'all can kind of see what I'm talking about. But uh, let me see. Okay, it's unmuted. There we go. Or wait, wait, wait. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Maybe. Oh, th there it is. Here. Now we can do it. That's what I was telling you before. <laughs> like that is basically what. That's basically what they gave us. Like th this is this is that cutaway gag, but extended to a whole fucking show. That's basically what that is. Mm. Uh, but anyway, neither here nor there. Oh. Neither here nor there. So here's my uh let me lead off with this. Go ahead, shoot, I want, shoot. I, I want I want full Yeah, credit we're about to go in. We're about to go all the way in. In, in the future, I want full credit for this. I sat there and I read that that deadline article announcing uh what's her name, Julia Gardner getting picked up, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's an exclusive break, right? That that is the source. Um, what, what what we say deadline or whatever the fuck? Yeah, that deadline. Is, that is the source. Because what I did is I wanted to go to the article. I'm like, what is their source? 
you know, because I wanted to see, is this an official announcement from Marvel, Disney, something, right? Mm -hmm. Nope. It's, it's, it's not. Sources, right, tell me this is what it is, and this is the exclusive break. And I'm fine. You know, I'm fine. I'm fine with believing it. That's fine. This is just, let's start with, yes, this is true. Now, when you read down into the article, they'll describe who Shalabal is. Mm -hmm. And you know what they call it? The female version of Silver Surfer. Mm -hmm. Now, now here's what that tells me. That tells me whoever wrote this article doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. And that's okay. You don't mm -hmm. have to be an expert on everything. But if you're going to bring up Shala Ball uh, and, uh, and, and then call her, by the way, if you don't know who that is, that's the female Silver Surfer of Marvel Comics. I'm like, whoa, that's not... That's not correct. No. <laughs> you know, the, the, the amount of times uh, uh, that she even got the power cosmic is a small handful. Uh, her main role is really a love interest of, of, of you know, blah, blah, blah. blah. We, we know. So hmm. here's, what, here's what I take. Here's, here's what I take from all that. <laughs> what I take from all that is, is when I go to IMDb and I see her posted up as uh, uh, Shala Ball and, and Silver Surfer, that's taken from this unconfirmed, uh, this unconfirmed reporting from an article who doesn't even really know who the character is. Mm -hmm. So here's what I'm going to tell you all. Here's what we got to stamp right here, right now. Just like Ernie said, not only does her existence doesn't mean that we're not going to see other uh, other people like Nova, mm -hmm. but her existence doesn't mean we're not getting Norn Red. Right. And I just want to say out loud. If these motherfuckers, wait, no, the motherfuckers are the chuds. If Disney decides to go with Norn Rad, if I'm, if I, if, if, if this is correct, right, and it's really a way for them to, to introduce Norn Rad, right, mm -hmm. then because Doom has used a uh, uh, Shala Ball to to manipulate the the Silver Surfer. Mm. Uh, Galactus has used Shala Ball to manipulate the Silver Surfer. So if this is some sort of Kevin Feige way of of kind of doing it backwards, tell us who Shala Ball is, and then that is how we get the Silver Surfer. Um, and like a post credit scene because Shala Ball is now in trouble, and a post credit scene is this is the whole plan was to get Norn Red here, yada yada yada. Right? Mm -hmm. I just want, the only reason I'm saying all this out loud like this is because you know damn well that Nerd Roddick and all these other these other chuds are going to be like, we did it. We got them to change. You know what oh, I mean? Mm -hmm. They said, they said the she was going to be the Silver Surfer, and we got them to change it. No, I just want to make it very clear that nobody has said she's the Silver Surfer yet. They said she's Shala Ball. Mm. So they didn't say it's going to be MCU Silver Surfer. I, unless I'm wrong. But if you go to the source, I know other articles. That's why I don't care about the other articles. Other oh, articles yeah, 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 yeah. Forcing Deadline, right? Mm -hmm. Deadline is the source. And in the Deadline, they said she's being cast as Shala Ball. By the way, Shala Ball is the female Silver Surfer in, in Marvel Comics. That's already wrong. So that might not even be right. You know what I mean? Um, but again, even if she is, that doesn't mean we're not getting Norn Rad later. And if Norn Rad comes later... Do not let Chuds gaslight anybody into thinking that they got them to change their mind because they haven't. That's mm -hmm. that's my call. Well, I'll I'll tell you Blame this it. much. Uh, there. Blame so here. He, oh, well, here's here's the thing I kind of want to point out to. And this is why I think people are freaking out. Mm. It, it, it's uh, and once again, I'm I'm looking at this article. I'm looking at it right now. It, uh, it, it, first off, the article reads like a hot mess, uh, uh, of an article. Like, this was, they, somebody jumped on this the second they heard about it mm -hmm. and just ran with it. But, so yeah, I'm looking at it now. Um, yeah. Okay. So it, it does say Silver Surfer, but it makes it pretty clear that the idea of this is that it's not the main continuity. Uh -huh. It makes it pretty clear it's not the main continuity uh uh, uh Silver Surfer. Like that the Maverick, they they Maverick, but they they make it very clear that it's just a version of which I mean once again it could 
who's to say that this is going to be anything more than that? But like, I can tell you what they're doing there. This is some Earth X shit. Like a hundred percent. I didn't give and I'll be honest. I don't give a damn about Earth X, but mm -hmm. uh, not to say that that's you know, exactly what it is that they are you know going to be doing. But like, yeah, they're in Earth X. Shala Ball is a surfer sort of i guess like in a roundabout mm -hmm. way yeah i don't i don't yeah it's a thing yeah she has the, she has the power cosmic yeah she has the power cosmic but like well here's 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 where i'm lost here's where i'm lost i don't understand why once again because i said this before these are unsubstantiated rumors mm -hmm. <laughs> marvel has not commented on any of this uh yep. and and you know to be Pur fair purposefully purposefully yeah purposefully. they were asked to comment and said no and said no we're not gonna say anything mm -hmm. uh here's the thing we know that sometimes when they do shit like this they're right and sometimes they're wrong like mm -hmm. i remember when um oh my god tatiana maslani when she was initially announced as being she hulk marvel didn't confirm that shit they right. let that shit sit for months and even had a statement or, or even had somebody or even had Tatiana Maslany at some point come out and be like, oh, no, that's not true. And then like a few months after that, it was like, yeah, it's true. Marvel's like, yep, this is our yeah, Tatiana Maslany is our She-Hulk. Da, 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 da. It's like so sometimes they do that shit. So I, I can get why some people are a little skeptical. But uh, for me personally, does a silver surfer who is female change how or, or i'm not saying change how but change whether or not i'm going to go see this movie mm -mm. no mm -mm. no for better or worse mm -hmm. yeah yeah I, I will say this much and, and i remember we said this before i forget what the mm -hmm. topic was actually matter of fact it was this, but then we were talking about something else, but then we were started talking about this. And I remember you made the, the silver cheeks, uh, uh, joke then too. And oh. I'm like, I can't remember what the topic was, but we were talking about this and I'm going to, I'm going to say this for, for, for the people that are upset in the chat for real, right? For real. I'm not, I'm being sincere. This is not, this is not backhanded. I think it's okay to be upset. I think it's mm -hmm. okay to be, uh, disappointed. Right? Yeah. You grew up like somebody in the chat said, my favorite character my favorite comic character is, is Silver Surfer. So you grow up loving the Silver Surfer, and then they don't even go with Silver Surfer. They go with uh Shala Ball. And I'm like, oh, all right, that's not that's not what I wanted. You know what I mean? Like I loved Spider Man growing up. You know what I mean? If mm -hmm. if they if they made Spider Man uh and, and 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 they never did Spider Man and it was only Spider Gwen and Spider Gwen, it would be like Okay, Spider Gwen's dope too, but I was kind of looking forward to seeing Peter Parker. All right, what what, yeah. what can you do? You yeah, I mean, it's not about being disappointed. Nobody is saying that you're a sexist piece of shit for being disappointed or being a little upset. But if you are like livid, right? And I don't count those fucking internet judges because we know no. why they're doing it. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're rage farming. <laughs> they're making money. Yeah, they're gonna be talking about this for the next twelve years, just like they, they talked about Captain America. They I mean, don't Captain read Marvel. comics. They don't read they comics. Don't, they don't even they sure shit don't read comics. They don't read know? comics. They don't even even and and the shit they're making fun of. They had no intention of seeing in the first place. <laughs> so exactly, let's just go and exactly. get that out of there. And you hear, oh, it. you hear, yeah. it. They, 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 also, they admit the shit. I want to ask That's a why question. I read comics since the nineteen eighties. Uh -huh. I want to ask a question though. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, what is because I I I I feel like the people who love throwing around the word woke as a pejorative, they can't even tell uh, you what that shit fucking means. Nah. Well, they nah. can't even tell you I, what it like, means. <laughs> I am not I am I am not taking nobody seriously who has an anime fan pick and telling me anything to do with woke. No, I just put mm. I just put you in that in that bin in the corner, and in my head is like you're just being a little bitch. It's like yeah, I, I'm not yeah no no you you're you're, you're like, not serious like, people. You're not serious like, people. I'm, I'm yeah. looking at it and I'm over here like oh lord, you just crawl back to your bedroom, play yeah. set up, stay play Stella Blade with one hand, and shut yeah. the fuck up. For real, <laughs> you know I saying? mean that's that, that that's fair. That was 100 percent fair in my opinion. Um, yeah. I will also say that uh, this was here from uh, Matthew Wilson. 
This is actually a little bit further back. Uh, but the 499 says, good times is the one shot Steph uh, uh, should have watched go in before assuming it was good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I like that. I like the. Mm, mm. uh, we've also got another one here uh, from Kwame Taylor with the 199. It's much appreciated. Uh, all the love, y'all. We appreciate you as well. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, we also got another one here from Maneater. Uh, let's see here. This one I actually can show because uh, it, it didn't go away. It says, you know which was good? Proud Family. I mean, they had problematic shit too, but overall, a good show. Uh, you know. Did they have a reboot recently? Yeah, Louder and Prouder. Okay, cool. It, it's still on if I'm not. I know. I think they had a second season. I don't know if they're getting a third, but. Uh, you, said, you said louder with Crowder? Louder and Prouder. Oh, oh my yeah. God. <laughs> no, we don't watch louder I with Crowder. Got, I, I just right. got that. It took me a Wait, Cold Feet Crowder? <laughs> cold Feet Crowder? <laughs> The guy with the gun with the gun belt on, the little uh, the the gun holster strap thing on, but they ain't got no gun in it. Uh, right. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Wait, the guy that got the shit slapped out of him. Yeah, the guy who runs from uh runs from uh from uh, Sam Cedar. Uh-huh. Got yeah, a, wait, yeah, wait, wait, yeah. wait, and, 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 and the guy talking about how uh 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 his, his he got mad his wife was it looked like he was about ready to spring on his uh pregnant wife? That guy? On the on the ring camera? That guy? The guy that every employee knows exactly what his dick's like because he keeps sexually assaulting them uh by putting his genitals on them with right? the other men and forcing right? them to dress up as women. Like in all oh, of his skits, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, so that, the guy that hates um, trans people but loves dressing up as a woman to go out into the that's world. Right, that one, that one, that right, guy. Right. Okay, yeah, that guy. Okay, like, gotcha, gotcha. That changed my but mind. That mean, really did bits on his life because yeah, because nobody can change my mind. The fact that he's a piece of shit. No, yeah, no. 100%, no. 100%, it, it, like honestly, that meme is like the only good thing he ever contributed to society is the change my mind mean that's like that's like the one good thing he's ever done um uh take like the joke he is <laughs> pairs with the ten dollars says uh it's crazy how the themes from spike lee's bamboozled still ring true today also we are at 67 percent on likes what are we doing i don't know <laughs> i, I do it. not know like like what, what what's happening here we got 221 people in here i see 145 likes i don't appreciate this I don't appreciate this kind of treatment. I don't know. Do I, do I need to go get the soft jazz? Do you need to go get the 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 the, the quiet storm on? Is that what I got to go do? Because I'll no, do it. If, if, all I know is that if you put some soft jazz on, you're gonna see me here in straight up dad mode taking a nap. Yeah, with my, right. With my, with my arm, <laughs> with my arms folded across, <laughs> yeah. and, and, and me sunk kinda, into my teeth. Yeah, kind of slumped anyway. down. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what I thought he was gonna go with there. I thought he was gonna go like I'm gonna I'm gonna start taking my shirt off. I'm like, oh okay. No, <laughs> damn. He's like, oh, I'm just taking my new shirt. I was like, okay. He's like, oh, hold let me get this off for me. <laughs> Don't let me get the oil. Don't let me get the oil. You put that jazz. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the oil's going up. Get that good rub down. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why? Why? Why all of a sudden I start feel like I was listening to like Ainsley Ariat? Uh, <laughs> what should you do? Is give you me the good rub. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm still hungry. Let me be hungry. Don't ask me why. Nah, hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, Gabriel the Dark Knight says, uh, Happy Friday, Junior Nerds of Culture. Just paying tides and enjoying the show. We appreciate you, Pimp. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for that. <clears throat> me, 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 me. 1999. Dun. Dun -dun 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 super chat we appreciate you uh we have also oh man gillis mo out here says make that two he says <laughs> two <laughs> two times thank you gillis mo for that 1999 <laughs> Double time super chat. <laughs> hey, nothing makes me more upset that given the delay, mm -hmm. I, I, I figured this out the other day real quick mm -hmm. before we get back into it. So there's a delay. So I can't even like sing with you if I wanted to, like, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like try to test it to see if you would let me, you know what I mean? Like, ah, yeah. that's mine. Don't do that. <laughs> but I couldn't if I wanted to, because there's a delay. Right. Oh. But then as I was making, as I was making edits, 
I realized something. I'm like, because I'm gonna do it. I can't not do it. Because when <laughs> when I'm on, when it's blur cave and I'm not on, I'm singing. I'm belted out with you. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Harmonizing the whole thing. You know. But here, I gotta at least lip sync it. And because of the delay, I know to all y'all, it looks like we're like this dude's offbeat like a motherfucker. Like, yeah. It's- <laughs> It's clear. It's clear. He's the only non-black Hispanic dude up there. Yeah, that's, just, that's yeah. Yeah, we got we got the African American, the Afro Latino, and the one non-black Hispanic dude can't stay on beat. What the fuck is this stereotype? It's like man, what's this? Like 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 you supposed to, you supposed to have the sauce, man? You supposed to have the sauce? I am. I ain't, just let everybody know. I just need to stay. Huh? You are Latino though. You got the sauce. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. He's like, no. I, I, he, he is the, he is the deal. I, I, I am, but I think it's like like 43% Iberian Peninsula, which is in Europe. I think they, they snatched. That's where I might have got the rhythm from. But here's the thing is that uh, I just need everybody to know. Oh, God. I just need everybody to know that I am on beat. It's just a delay. I just need you all to understand that. Please, mm. just somebody in chat said they understand, okay? So I can move on from this. To be fair, I get it. <laughs> I, mean, I understand your frustration. I, I mean, I, like honestly, it's it's like a, kind of like what we were talking about the other day. It's kind of like a uh, like 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 with the uh, the, the Sammy Sosas uh, of the world, just be like, I know Black Poppy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I, said, I, hey, I, hey, I said this. Hey, I said this on that face. I'm seeing the chat. Hold on, hold on. Time out. I'm looking at the chat. I'm I, and I had to say this on left face. When I say. I'm not black. I swear to 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 Cthulhu, I'm black not Jesus. doing the. I know I know black, Papi. I know black. <laughs> I'm Puerto Rican. I'm no black. I promise you, that's not what I'm doing. I am doing a, a, a what I'm what I'm doing is I don't want to perpetrate. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do like like you know that person. I know we all know. You know we got that person. Oh, they're ten percent. They're eleven percent black, and all of a sudden they want to drop the N word. I'm acknowledging how i move through the world when i say that <laughs> i would i am i am pro black i just want to say I'm they come in with the die shikis and I'm shit on, i'm on <laughs> i'm hey i'm pro black <laughs> i'm on beat what else what else we gotta make sure it's clear <laughs> by the way can, can i blur can i i appreciate you bro because i like how you just say the sammy sosas and uh what you really want to say, the Dominicans. The oh, oh. <laughs> I saw that. I was like, you know what? That's, that's my nigga right there. Because hey, I'm not, like, the Dominicans, the, the Dominicans. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm not going to lie. The fact that the, the, the stereotype is, I know black on Dominican. I know black on Dominican. I know Puerto Ricans do that too, but I'm like, hey, yup. Yup, yup. Man, Dominicans, <laughs> hey, isn't that crazy? Right? Because <laughs> he said that, like, the, I know black. Like, some of I'm like, I appreciate this guy. Cause he could have aired me out right now. I never done that, but still, you know what I mean. Actually, no, that's not that's true. I may have said no black. I may have say I know black. I may have say I. I may have say I. I will say I do agree with the lead X one said Robo. If they stopped the car with y'all in it, you go into jail just as fast. That's all the matter. Man, I'm not gonna man, lie. Not I mean, fair, he'd probably be the first one in the car because he's gonna be the first one talking shit. Yeah, because I'm gonna be left face too. You know what I mean? Not only yeah. brown, but I'm like I don't answer questions. I don't ask. <laughs> I'm like, sir, sir, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> <laughs> sir, sir. Stop. Why are you going live right now? <laughs> hey, he's what? not with us. We picked him on the side, sir. Stop <laughs> calling that man sir. That's a pig. What's what are you doing? <laughs> Shit, man. Yeah. You, you, oh, piss me off. Yeah, we're going to jail. We're going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> like, if, they, if they take me and Blood and they let Robo's like, look, man, you're a veteran. Have a good day. These guys, <laughs> they fit the profile. And you were here like that. No, you gotta take me too, sir. Please. <laughs> While being, being blurred, just in the back seat, like, oh, the fuck? look, oh no, fuck, fuck <laughs> the back seat. My face is in the fucking, uh, like, uh, in the fucking hood of the car. I'm just like, Ugh! I'm like, I'm almost about like, oh, bro, shut the fuck up. <laughs> nah, fuck that. A cab, a cab, not handcuff. Sitting on the sidelines, I'm I'm just recording. Nobody's live, fucking me up. <laughs> live on Twitch and shit. A cab, right? A scream, a cab. I can't. I can't. I don't got no old tooth. I can't. <laughs> oh, they just hit my boy Cypher. That's fucked up, bro. As hey, my as man can, is picking him up. You can hit him again. <laughs> hit him again. You still a pig? Still, shut the fuck up, I was like, man. Stop. <laughs> man is picking him up. He's still yelling from his car. Hey guys, I'll I'll call you guys tomorrow. <laughs> just, I, I swear, dude. I swear. But no, I, you know, to to. to 
to kind of, I, I want to do this real quick is, and then kind of mm-hmm. get us back on, on, on track. Uh, Michael DeFonte with the five, uh, $5 says, uh, who are each of your favorite superheroes asking for design purposes? Uh, well, it's no secret well, for yeah, me. Yeah, we gotta show that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's no secret for me. Uh, Daredevil, uh, is my oh, favorite, so. Yeah, I was gonna say, could we guess each other's superheroes real quick? But now you always say Daredevil. I mean, you can guess my second favorite. Monica Rambeau? Aw, you yeah. know me so well. Oh, is it? I would've said Storm. All right, bet. That, cause the, Storm and Monica Rambeau kind of shift spaces, depending on, you know, what day it is. Honestly, Oh my God, I still take the point. Don't do yeah, that. yeah. I'm about to say, say, honestly, my top five characters rotates depending on what day you ask me. So depending on who's writing them at that very moment. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Honestly, yeah. You know, because I because I'm all about recency. So I'm all I'm I'm a what yeah. have you done for me lately kind of dude. So I'm yeah, kidding. if it's bad, then you know Daredevil drops down a little bit. But, you know, uh, yeah, but yeah. Chris, Chris, what would be yours? Uh, I don't think we talk comics a lot. Let's see. Uh... I actually may have brought it up once, but I'm gonna say Spawn. Close. It's actually, oh. yeah, it's actually close. Uh, Spider Man is my number one. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, it's like you were, you were, you, oh, you, 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 like, like when you said sp, it was like he was like, ooh. Yeah, I got excited. Oh, uh, was it? Was that the close the SP? No, 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 no. It's close. No, I. Because uh, Todd McFarlane drew both of them. No, honestly, didn't even know that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I like I, I like the. It's weird because I started liking Spawn when I saw the movie, the terrible movie in the nineties, uh-huh. like, and I just like the concept of Spawn. Spawn is dope. Yeah, I mean, Spawn like, uh, like from the big, and I like the fact that he became like more powerful than God and still used guns. Yeah, you know I'm saying so. I, <laughs> He's I, like, I, I got, I, I got magic I'll health powers. Much. I'm still clapping. I said this much about Spawn. Spawn is way cooler than most of his comics. Yes, if that makes sense. Yes, I, I tried. So I tried. It's, I'm like, it's, this shit is so dope. I want to read all of them, and I'm reading them like, man, I don't know about this one. <laughs> so it, it, it's weird though because my love for Spawn started from Soul Calibur, mm. like it, it got mm. reunited in Soul Calibur uh, when they did Soul Calibur. So the, they did the the console cross uh, crossover event, uh, which each console got like their own specific. And I, I he was on the, the Xbox. Xbox. Yeah. Hated that I didn't have an Xbox because I wanted to spawn, right? And then I started getting into his shit. And then as I got older and I bought some of his comics, I remember like, I love the character. I just not feel it as much as I thought I would. And I'm glad you said it because I didn't want to be one of those like, how you love him, but you didn't you weren't feeling his comics. Yeah, so I'm glad nah, you said it out it. loud because I, mean, um, I feel the same way. But yeah. But Spider-Man oh, is man. definitely uh with Spider-Man, it honestly depends. Uh with his comics like right now is Miles Morales. But I always forever loved Spider Man and Spider Man comics. Right. Yeah, what, do you, what do you think mine is? Me? Uh, I want to say Thor. That's it. Mm. Oh, see, yeah. I, see, I wasn't sure because I was, I was like, my guess would have been Hulk. Mm. But like that Thor was, was Thor was my that. second guess. <laughs> yeah, Mortal Kombat like, was is probably honestly might be my second or third favorite run. Uh, mm-hmm. But Jason Aaron's Thor. Oh no! Can't be beat. That is just top tier for me. I just I could read that multiple times. I had to get the Omni, got the whole deal. Even War War the uh, even Red War of the Realms. Shit is so dope to me. Yeah, oh yeah, that made, that made me fall in love with Thor as a character. Dude, love it. This is good shit. Also, Paris Hill, thank you for those five gifted. We also got Levesta the Samurai says dropping some. Oh, dropping by to show some love to the show. Levesta the Samurai out here hooking us up with. Yeah, okay, we got another one. Night. 1999 the super chat man just love it just out here just out here <laughs> Lo- i love to see it um and we also got extra medium extra underscore medium uh with the uh five dollar super chat it says hey blur just discover the channel i'm loving the content especially the character profiles and build a team this i i'm, gl- I'm glad you enjoy thank you that actually that actually Touches a, touches a brother's heart. We appreciate you on that. Uh, I, like, I like that that username because it reminds me of the shirts I used to wear when I was like in my early thirties. Oh shit! Yeah. I didn't yeah. think. Okay, you know, all, right, all right. Yeah, I, I I was an extra medium kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? Oh Got yeah, no, I do. I used, <laughs> look, believe it or not, your boy used to be a small. So uh, yeah, I, nah, I, I, not, you know no mo. <laughs> not no mo. Not no mo. Actually, reminded one time you roasted me at a at a. 
company function um yeah. over at Bellows, and you're like, uh, hey yo, last name omitted. Why are you rocking them schmediums? And then mediums, I was yeah. and like I turned around to talk shit, but I was like, our shirts are the same size. I know, and <laughs> it, it, it was bad because it was about that time I shouldn't have been wearing them. Uh, what that's what I was, you know. So, <laughs> I had the little belly button smoke poking out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Love it. I was so confused. Love and then, it. Like we know oh. we know what to talk shit. We know what to, how to talk shit because we just take what has been said to me and hurt my feelings. Now I know what to say. To yeah, but, you know <laughs> so here, here here's one thing I'll say. Uh to, to get us back on, on silver cheeks. Here's the thing. Yeah. Oh wait, love the title. Well, yeah, yeah. No, silver cheeks. All the all day, every day. Look, let me tell you something. Let, let me let me let me holler at you players. Let me holler at you players. If if it's up to me, if it, if it is up, don't don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I I I I'm not gonna sit here and try and tell you that you are wrong to want your precious silver surfer. Trust me, I totally get mm -hmm. it. I'm totally mm -hmm. with you. I fully like. Look, let, let me let me give you okay. Blur Without Fear is going to give you one of my MCU grievances. Because I do have a grievance with the MCU. Uh, maybe not the grievance you all might think. Mm. So, I, as uh, uh, was just pointed out just now, uh, I'm a huge fan of Monica Rambeau. Uh, she's one of my favorite characters of all time. <laughs> Easily. Like, uh, just, she's just awesome. There's really, there's really no two ways to put it. However, one of the things that bugged the shit out of me about the MCU regarding her as a character mm -hmm. is that when the first Captain Marvel movie came out that they made her young, like they made her a kid. And I was like, I was like, that's unnecessary. And I was like, maybe it's going to be in service of something greater later. And I mean, yeah, I guess it kind of works out in the end. But yeah, at the time, I was kind of like, no, nah, I'm good. Like, she should be grown. I was actually hoping that what they were going to do uh, when they initially had a, like, so to, to show you how much time has passed, when they originally were going to uh, uh, make the first Captain Marvel movie, and they said that, uh, uh, God, what's a young lady's name? Uh, Lashana Lynch. Mm -hmm. uh, or no, not Lashana Lynch. It was DeWanda Wise first. Uh, the young lady that was in the movie Imaginary just recently. Uh, was also in uh, Jurassic World. Whatever the third one was. Um, Domination? And, what's that? No, Jurassic World Domination. I think that's what it was. Dominion about. or Dominion. Yeah, mm -hmm. something like that. It, it, yeah. Long and short of it was uh, she was originally supposed to play Maria Rambo, but we didn't know that she was playing Maria Rambo. But like, I was like, oh, she's likely to be playing Monica Rambo. And then, you know, she ended up dropping out of the role. And then they revealed Lashana Lynch was going to be taking her place. And Lashana Lynch it, later was revealed she's not going to be playing Monica Rambo. She's going to be playing Maria Rambo, Monica's mother. And I was like, oh, that's lame. But uh, I was like, you know what? I'm going to run with it because, you know, hey, you never know. We might get something cool later. And we did. Um, but that said, yeah, I, I, I totally get where, you know, yeah, sometimes you want the version of the character that you have in your head, the version of the character that you love uh, from the comics. I totally get that. But here's the thing. I don't I don't care, not because I'm quoting fingers a word you can't define to me. I don't care because I don't really give a fuck about the Silver Surfer. Like in, in the in the great grand scheme of things, if you tell me I have an opportunity to see that on the silver screen versus <laughs> this motherfucker with his with his dick all out. <laughs> is it, is it out? Because yeah, he's more of a Ken doll, but I'm just saying. Point yeah, of the matter is, he's, he's, he's no Mister Manhattan. I was just saying, right? That. No, 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 no. I mean, yeah, no. but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Yeah, I, if I, I have a choice, if you say, "Hey, Blur, what would you rather see? Would you rather see OG Silver Surfer, like yo, with the Ken doll shit, cheeks out and everything, all chromed up, all silver and chrome? Would you want to see that, or would you want to see that? I'm gonna tell you right now, pimp. I would be like, please, sir. Give me the cheeks. Give me the silver cheeks. I give give me the silver titties. I want them all. 
on the big screen. Deep? Is this on DVR? What is this? What is it? I have no idea. I just I found it somewhere. It was. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the rule thirty four. Uh, right, two. like look, look. I just there. I'm just saying. I'm like, look. There. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, I found it. It was on a Google image search. I I was. Hey, yeah, right. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Also, okay. <laughs> can I just add? Shorty did an amazing job in Ozark. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm actually like I I like the role, and if she can be. That she's not, but if you can bring that character to the with the power cosplay, that'll be fucking dope. Yeah, Look, this is how you know. This is how you know. For anybody who's seen Ozarks, this is how you know when somebody is full of shit or not, right? Mm -hmm. Um, it, I've heard, I've seen, I see on Twitter. I'm looking at all the things that people are talking about, and it's like she can't even act. She was the worst part of Ozarks. I'm like, okay, all right, time out. You know what I mean? Like the you know part. damn well the that she part. carried Ozarks on her back. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, the, the show <laughs> was would not be as interesting. No. Spoiler warning. Ruth. Spoiler warning. I hated how it ended because of what happened to her character. Uh, okay. I must say, don't don't say nothing else. Don't say nothing else because I haven't seen all of it. I haven't seen all oh, of you it. I, I don't want to. I, 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 I don't want to yeah, know. I don't because I'm gonna tell you what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. So when Ozark Damn. ended, no, when Ozark ended. I was on some website. It was either comic book resources, CBR, Bleeding Cool, something. I don't know. And you know how a lot of those websites now have like kind of deviated from comics and gotten more into just TV shows. Not just comic book TV shows, but just TV yeah. in general. Uh -huh. Sure as shit, I am scrolling through their website looking for stories for the cave. And huge ass spoiler about her on the show. And I saw it. And it was one of those things I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put the show down for a while because like I was just, I think I had just started the second season uh, by the time that the... That, you that found part. out in the second season? In the second season. I oh, think there's like five total. And like I was oh. like, you know what? Let me... I said, you know what? I'm just going to put the show down and I'm going to wait until I forget. And I had forgotten. You and almost now, forgot until... Thanks, and, uh, thanks, Chris. So now okay, I got. So, hey, so now I got to hey, wait another like, year and some change to watch the damn show. <laughs> okay, okay, so uh, here, okay, guys. So I guess it's the best time to announce this will be my last episode. <laughs> um, <laughs> completely unrelated to what just happened. Uh, <laughs> I was like, man. I was like, I really like. I mean, I can. I'm, I'm probably still gonna. It, it's one of those things okay. that I, it doesn't bother me to know when you know, like certain types of spoilers with some shows but there are some that like if i know i just spend the entire show waiting for it to happen and that's a whole other kind of anxiety i just uh i i i just don't well i me, I, I typically me... don't like uh but um let me, hmm? let me fix it real quick let me fix it real quick okay okay season four of Ozark, honestly for me is basically one of the best seasons on tv it's, mm -hmm. in, it's in my it's in my top like season four of Ozarks is in my top ten seasons of any TV show. Okay, season four. I so like if you said, can make I, it there yeah. and then power through through uh, through five. Hit me up. <laughs> I apologize. I'll say yeah, you, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll uh, I like I said I'm still gonna watch it. Uh, I, I like it. It'll just be one of those things where like I'll wait till I'm not thinking about it and it won't be in my, it won't be like at the forefront of my head because that's kind of the scary thing about uh, uh, TV for me. Is that like if I know something's gonna happen ahead of time, I'm gonna I'm not gonna forget that shit for a while. Like I'll remember it. it'll be at the forefront of my head, and I'll just be like, <sighs> okay, I'll, I'll be I'll be waiting for this. Um, but yeah, that that said, she's that's, gonna be she's gonna be fine. The, my point is that is that if you say she's a bad actor, then 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 you're whack anyway. Like you're just talking out your ass. Yeah, no, that's that's, uh, that's I, I, first I, off, that's cope. That's cope. Yeah, that's yeah. 100% cope. You know you're lying. You know what I mean? You don't even have to like those arcs to know that also, she, just, was, she was badass in it. I mean, I also, she's it. got one of these, and y'all don't. So... Damn. Right. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. And if I'm not uh, mistaken, so I, was for Ozark. <laughs> if I'm not I, mistaken. I so, I yeah. she, she, was, she, was, she was just amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Um, here's the deal is, uh, it, it kind of goes back to what you said, like, you know, so you don't care because, you know, you don't particularly care that much about Silver Surfer, but I would imagine 
that even if they messed up something like, okay, um, if they took, well, I can't even think of a good example. If, if they, I, if you love Wolverine and they decided we're not doing Wolverine, it's going to be based off of Laura. Okay. Yeah. You can go, yeah. you can go, damn, I want to see some Logan. You know what I mean? That would have been cool if they made him short and hairy and all that shit. That, that, that would have been be pretty dope. dope. That would have been pretty dope. Um, but if you're like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? MCU bullshit. I don't get my fucking Logan. I'm like, bro, first of all, you need to see a, a therapist. Yeah. Right? Just check in, check into a therapist. For real. No, no sort of casting announcement should make you that angry. And two, if you are that angry, it probably doesn't have anything to do with your favorite character and more to do with, uh, you know, some other shit that, you, you know, some other residual bigotry that you need to to come to terms with um, I just, there is no comic book character none zero and i love comics that 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 I, plenty that i'd be disappointed if you changed it plenty uh shit mm -hmm. i don't even like that pascal uh, um Pedro pascal was cast i was just about to ask you uh, yeah same. i don't even i don't i don't i don't like that casting i don't like that casting at all i would have rather been Pedro somebody pascal. else yeah i would have rather been 100 and yeah. i'm gonna be i'm gonna be real yeah. with you uh, wouldn't have mattered if he was white, black, or otherwise, mm. but I need him to be like nerdy and ultra, like ultra, like, first of all, in my mind, he doesn't have an accent. Uh, he, he, he's, he's very academic, super nerd, um, and, and very egotistical. You start throwing other shit in there and I'm like, oh man. Now, if they had, I didn't even like that. If they had made, if they swapped, uh, let's say they made Reed Richards. Uh, and 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 Sue Storm made Reed Richards a female version, and there's like, you know what, we're gonna do a lesbian couple. Well, that's not the Fantastic Four I know. Um, yeah. but you know, how mad am I gonna really get? Like, all right, let's see what happens, right? You know? what, are, what are you gonna do? We're you gonna know? make Johnny like, Storm female, you know, or we're gonna yeah, make, like, or, oh, or, or, like, or we're gonna make she like, thing, ah. we're gonna make she yeah. thing a thing, yeah, or whatever. It's like, like it's, it's, it's like, ah, oh, well, it doesn't match what, what I grew up with, you know, I'm a little disappointed that I'm not gonna get the, the Fantastic Four from my childhood, but. How mad can you really get? That's my point. It's like yeah, if you're no. really mad, there's something else going on. You know what I mean? Um, and so I think this is yeah. gonna be dope. Uh, I will double down and say that uh, I like your reading. It's it's kind of hopeful, honestly. Um, but when we, when I look at that sentence, while plot details for this film are unknown, sources say Gardner will play Shala Ball, a version of Silver Surfer from the comics. Um, I like the way you read that, honestly. Uh, I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, so are we talking about a variant? Are they mm -hmm. saying it's a different version of the Silver Surfer that you know from the comics? But I think it could, and this is the weird thing about English, I think you could also read it in how I kind of read it the first time because it's kind of reiterated later in the article mm -hmm. where they're saying incorrectly as a statement that Shala Ball is okay. a version of Silver Surfer in the comics. Which I mean, would then lead yeah. me to believe that they don't know what the fuck they're talking well, about. You no, know, no, I, I think that is the case because, like, like, okay, so here's what I think it is. I honestly think whoever wrote the article, I feel like they do not know anything about the comics. They don't read the comics. That Like, literally, this is the first they've ever clapped eyes on... Uh -huh. They uh, jump on that on exclusive this. and I get this printed. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, No, what I think happened here what I personally feel happened here is because when, when all this came up, ever since the first time it was teased, people were seeing this image. People mm -hmm. kept using this image above just about anything else. And okay, yeah, if that's your first time ever clapping eyes on this image, you would think, like, oh, that's Shala Ball. If you don't know Silver Surfer, Mm -hmm. then yeah of course you're gonna look at this and be like okay yeah yeah she's a female yeah. version of silver surfer i don't know yep. i don't know nothing about this 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 uh 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 this other woman that he supposedly you know, I, I i don't know who that is you know so they see this and they go oh yeah no that's the silver surfer and and here's the thing i, I mean look i i, I want to make sure i'm very clear when i say this because i don't want anyone to get the wrong impression Mm -hmm. When I say that I am perfectly fine with silver cheeks, silver titties, all sorts of stuff, I hope a lot of people know that I'm being very facetious when I say this. Yeah. Like, I don't care. Like, generally speak, like, I think I, I have even said this in my video, so I think people should probably know to take this as a joke. But, like, mm -hmm. I often talk about I don't care about TNA in 
mm. in comics. Like, like, and when I say don't care, it's not the like, oh yeah, yeah, you can put it in there, it's fine. It's more like I don't care to see it. Like, I don't care for mm. it to be like, like a case boy. We were literally just roasting on the cave the other day, Savage Dragon, for having a, a, a steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse sticking his head up a girl's dress, where mind you, a girl's dress where like she doesn't have any panties on so you literally just see you know camel toe mm. uh just out there for everybody to see and another woman who is supposed to be like a uh, um a version of spider-man or spider woman in this case and she's shooting webs out her out of her vagina i can oh. tell you right now i think that's dumb right Anybody but this who is, thinks they're hyper obsessed with that stuff that has hasn't heard you talk. No, like, they've listen, never listen to never. Ernie talk about anime. He's not a he's not like I no. need titties. No, <laughs> uh, wasn't it like two episodes ago he was talking about Stellar Blade and uh, how everybody's like the reason why people are hyping that game up. And right. like, is it is it really that serious? Like, just yeah. go well, and and, yeah. and here's the thing: we're we're also talking about a blur without fear. Who's now just a week removed from having played the demo for it? And I said, mm -hmm. and the thing is, and this is what I think people kind of lost uh, the plot on here with me is that I said something about it on Twitter. I said, yeah, this is the game. Like, this is not the 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 savior that the anti woke chuds think it is. I was like, this game is just okay. Like, nobody's going to be talking about it by the end of the year. Now, a lot of people mm -hmm. took it to mean that I was shitting on the game. It's like, no. I can do two things at the same time. I can criticize mm -hmm. something that I enjoy. Did I enjoy the uh, the demo? I did. I did enjoy the demo a lot. But once I was done with it, I didn't immediately turn it back on and play it again. I was like, okay, this is an interesting a bit of gameplay. My wife was sitting right next to me while I was playing it. She got some modicum of enjoyment out of it. She also laughed at a lot of the gratuitous ass shots and titty jiggling and shit like that just as much mm -hmm. as I was. Uh, and, and but yeah, yeah. By the way, in case in case you're one of these dudes, in case you're watching this, mm -hmm. I have some I have really bad news for you. Um, and I hope you're sitting down. I hope that you 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 just take this to heart, and just digest it. Um, if you think that when you watch that character model and you go, "Wow, finally a game that knows how to do physics," I need you to get in the presence of more real life women. Yeah. Life. And I'm and I'm not saying that women aren't that that can't be that bad or they can't yeah. be shaped like that. I'm talking about the jizzle the the jizzle. God damn. The, damn. <laughs> the, 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 the yeah, let me wait, right, hold on, wait a minute, wait. I got it. Okay, I got it. I'm not talking about the jiggle physics. Uh uh okay, yeah. okay. women jiggle all that stuff on the shape. I'm talking about the way that Physics do not affect titties that way. They're they doing really it don't. On, on purpose to make it more appealing to your eyeballs. And I think it's super funny whenever somebody goes, "No, this is how women are. And this is how titties." I'm like, "Titties don't do that." What are you no, talking about? They, like, they, they, they you're really just kind of telling on yourself there. Like, like, <laughs> like, like this this game knows what it is. Like, look at it. It knows what it is. Yeah. Look at it. Yes. It knows what it is. I've seen you know, the ladder climbing clips. I've seen it. Oh, like, yeah. I'm like, or no, I'm not going to lie and say it's not visually appealing. Yeah. yeah. The skin's too. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. You're a liar if you don't think it's physically, it's it, visually, it's right. appealing. Sure. But hey, it is not real life. It's not real <laughs> life. No. You know what this reminds me of? Like, uh, and, I, and I made a tweet about this, right? Like, this game is going to put me in that weird position that Nia Automata uh, put me in because the story of that game was phenomenal. However, it had a lot of gratuitous cheeks in that game. As a matter of fact, yeah, you're main, you're wearing like this one piece thong Lolita outfit that when you self destruct, it destroys like the skirt part and it's just cheeks. And people did that automatically, you know. And I remember, mm -hmm. and, and I was thinking to myself, like it's weird because I wanna, I love Nia, but it, <laughs> but when you say it out loud, people be like, you know, we know why you like it. No, 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 I'm not like them. I like the story. I swear, I want, I played it for, for the story. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah, yeah. For for clarification's sake, those who don't know, what we're talking about this is this game is called Stellar Blade. I think Stellar it comes Blade. out the end of this month. 29th, mm. I believe. Yeah, 29th, 26th, yeah. something like that. The 29th or 26th, uh, I'm pretty sure it's the 29th at 11, 26 p.m. on Steam. Okay. It'll be, no, I'm sorry, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> You know what also reminds me? It reminds me of, uh, you, ever, you guys seen uh, Ragnarok? 
uh what's the one uh uh the netflix show the yeah yeah the anime um where oh, yeah, the, yeah. different gods are fighting oh well, they have yeah, aphrodite yeah. on there right you have aphrodite and she has these two questionably uh uh melanated people that are just their job is to uh uh hold up her titties and it's like like she'll like be surprised she'll be like oh my god and she'll be and then her titties will and i'm like what 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 happened in 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 physics in gravity to make her titties do that and and that's yeah. what that's the kind of shit i'm talking about you know what i mean by the way i'm not i don't record it right that's what it is i'm not saying that's bad right obviously obviously it's supposed to be exaggerating all i'm not yeah. talking i'm not referencing that as a bad thing i'm just i'm highlighting the people who say that that is realistic, there's nothing wrong with that because that's real. I'm like, no, time out. You could like it. I'm with you. Right, like right. Movies, but it's not real. So not real. calm the fuck down. <laughs> yeah. Another shit that got me is where like that that one post has been circulating, like uh, which is like the Eve, the girl from uh, Stella, uh, Stella Blade, like she's like obese. People are like, oh, I this is what IGN will uh, will create as a female protagonist if they could. Back to sad. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. Oh, god damn. <laughs> Bruh. But I'm like, yeah, can you know. point out a video game uh fe uh um uh, fat female protagonist? You know what I'm saying? Like there's n literally none. So these guys are just creating their own problems in their head and crying about it only because they literally want to play this game and I, I'm not gonna make another masturbating joke. We know what it is. These guys are weird. Yeah, no, we 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 know. Well, and here I just want to put I want I just want to put this out here because I like all of this was kind of an aid of a greater thing. All this was an aid of a, a far greater thing. Um. So, for me, uh, when I talked about the um, you know, this whole, because I I, I want to show this just because you know it, it just this is what it is. But right here, like. People were freaking out because, like, oh, yeah, this is what a woman is supposed to look like. Mm, and it's like, mm. not, I was like, first off, there are not that many women in the world who look exactly like that. And even yeah. the ones who do, do you know how much work it takes them to do to look like this? Like, a lot of times it takes more than just makeup, more than just regular exercise. In some cases, it takes whole ass fucking surgeries. And mm -hmm. uh, all kinds of like, you know, special uh, clothing accessories. Uh, also, I will I don't have it shown on here, but also thought it was very interesting that for the fact that she's wearing a suit, why does it have a camel toe? I just have so many like 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 a built in like because it's supposed to be like armor, but like it's a can like like this is basically like the nasty motherfuckers who make skyrim armor mods yeah. like that's what this shit yeah. is but like I, once again I, I i i say all this to say that like you know when i criticize the game you know for this someone was like oh well what about doa what about bayonetta and i was like i like all those games but here's the thing i will give you the same argument i give everyone when i tell them that i like shows like spartacus blood and sand i love the show I wish that mm -hmm. it didn't lean so heavily on TNA to get an audience. Uh, I feel yeah. the same way about those games. I was like, cause you can have the TNA. I, it doesn't bother me, but like, right. it just, it, it makes it difficult to take the game as seriously as maybe I would have liked to. Right. And it's kind of like, it's kind of yeah. like saying you're better than that. And because it's like, a, it's, 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 I don't want to say cheating. It's like, uh, it's like cowardly. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, sometimes you watch an old 1980s hacker flick and then they're going to show titties and stuff and you don't complain about that because mm. they're not better than that. You know, no. like yeah. this movie would be way worse. Mm -hmm. At least well, there's titties. You yeah. know what I mean? It's a fun <laughs> game. Other, the other movies is like, bro, it's a good game or it's a good show. It's a good movie. Like, what are you doing here? Calm down. Oh, you know, you know what? Yeah. This whole, this whole segment here is, it's been me for years explaining why I love the Bayonetta series so much. Mm -hmm. I'd, be, I'd be like, look, the combat's phenomenal. The boss battle's amazing. Like, now nah, you just like it because the show that shaking her ass. I'm like, that's a plus. However, comma, the combat is amazing. It really is. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I, I saw Elite X1 said uh, it was a Dragon's Dog, but two had nipple mods for the Sphinx and the Harpies on day one because there were people who were mad Capcom. Like, I remember that because I saw the Sphinx. I was like, oh, they, they kind of did like the weird nipple thing on the Sphinx. I was like, but here's the thing, though. I wasn't even checking for that shit. I was like, I don't care. Like, I mean, the only reason I even paid attention to the titties is because they were so damn big. 
Yeah. <laughs> like if they weren't yeah. like huge, oh, I would even oh, have noticed yeah. them. <laughs> like, yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. Me like, too. He's like, this one. Well, it also Man. doesn't help that when she talks to you, she I gets r- titties. Yeah, like she gets right up in your face. Yeah. So you can't help but see the titties anyway. So let's just be real. Right. Uh, I say something but, like his yeah reminded me of his isekai yeah. He was like, yeah, you know, it's a straight up isekai. He was like, yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no, that's a different because I didn't know what the fuck isekai was. Oh. I know exactly what I know exactly what the fuck. No, I'm saying, was like, like the almost a snail. Like, yeah, I was like, oh okay. <laughs> yeah, he means something else after you. <laughs> well, to to take it a step further. Uh, also, by the way, just yeah, you know, you know, I guess you know, this was something we were going to talk about last week on the cave, but never did. Mm-hmm. But Cipher, did you know that isekai is now a part officially a part of the English language? Uh, uh, yep. Yep, it's a yeah. Isekai and uh, Isekai, Mangaka, and Tokusatsu. They're all officially a part of the English language now. Or like as borrowed words. You hear that, Japan? Yeah. Speaking English now. We're taking (laughs) we're taking your shit. We're taking your shit. That's our word. (laughs) By the way, that Uh, also leads me to believe that they want uh, whoever is in charge of the Oxford dictionary, they watch that shit because they saw like that man had to look it up. Let's just add it to the add, add it to the, the shit, the man. Add it to the shit. Add it to the shit. <laughs> uh, but no, I, like once again, that was also all in aid of saying too that like this woman, if she is actually, if Julia Garner is actually being hired to play a version of Shala Ball who happens to be the Silver Surfer, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you one thing: she did not get the job because of woke politics or uh, or because I'm gonna tell you right now. You always see people claiming that Disney is so woke, yet they don't realize how anti, you know, quotey fingers anti woke Disney actually is. Disney does the absolute bare fucking minimum, and people Least. act like, like, like what, was, what was it? <laughs> that grandma peck of a kiss yeah, between right, two right. male characters in Eternals. The yep. what was it? What was it? Was it uh, Lightyear, uh, Lightyear? Where they yep. had uh, the the lesbian couple, which if I don't, if I remember correctly, that you don't even really see be like. A couple is just kind of like an. Uh-huh. It's just like thing like, oh, that's my wife. Oh, that's your wife. Oh, okay, cool. Hi. I think, they <laughs> I think yeah, they hugged. It's like, dude. It's like, get the fuck out of here, dude. There's nothing woke right. about this. But I will say this: what they hired her for is her acting ability. And once again, this kind of goes back to what Robo said earlier. Like these people trying to say, oh, she can't act. I'm gonna tell you right now, you're lying to yourself. You don't know what acting is. And if someone asked you to act, you probably would be the worst actor we have ever seen. But all of that was... It, it, this isn't about trying to uh, uh, own the chuds. Because that, that's I think, you know what it is? It's projection. It's projection because, you know, we, we always say every accusation you know, is a confession. You know, mm-hmm. every, mm-hmm. you know, every proclamation is a self-examination. It, mm-hmm. It's, you know, whenever they say these things like, oh, it's woke this, they're trying to do this, they're trying to push an agenda. No, it's because when, you, you know, people of your ilk do the same thing, they are trying to push an agenda. And they're being Man. a lot more heavy handed. Like, what was that shit? The Daily Wire. We, I think we talked about this before, uh, but. Uh, lady Ballers. Yeah, Lady Ballers. And what yes. was the other one? Jingle Smells. Those uh-huh. movies literally stop to turn and look at the camera and give you a message, like a right-wing yes. propaganda message. And you, and here's the thing. Anyone who says, I don't know, I haven't seen it, well, <laughs> guess what? I, I have. Yes, they're I'm fucking so terrible. That yeah. is heavy-handed. I've never yeah. seen them. Have you seen them, Robo? Uh, no, no, I haven't, but I know. I Man, I'm going to tell I you seen- something. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I I see God damn it. Go ahead. You go first. <laughs> I am not. I, ha, I, I I did not think about that in this context. Mm-hmm. That is actually a really fucking good point. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you sometimes we'll be on the same wavelength and I'll be like, ah, you beat me to it. I was just about to say that. No, nah, this time I didn't even think about it like that for mm-hmm. this context. You're absolutely fucking right. Like, because Disney, when they put a gay couple or change a character from white to black or from male to female, they're not doing it with chuds in mind because they got that no. main character syndrome going, you know? They're doing it, really, for progressives in mind. How do I get yeah. them to buy tickets? You know what I mean? How do I, I get the most women? 
in the theater? Yeah. How do I get the How, most yeah, exactly. LGBTQA plus people in no. the theater? How do I get the most black people in the theater? How do I get the most That's Asian right. people in the theater? That's They're right. not thinking about right pissing off the chuds and, and whether or not that's sincere or not is, yeah. is a different story right you're right, right. I mean, we have corporate uh, corporate rainbow bullshit we, I, I get that that is a different conversation though but you are you are absolutely right that that they look at it like like people like conservatives people like my own family and be like they are putting this out to attack us i'm like you only think that because that is why you guys you do <laughs> It's yeah, like, yeah. Lady Ballers literally has multiple scenes where uh, the main character, who is played by uh, a, a Daily Wire co-owner and founder, Jeremy Boring, literally is telling his daughter why he shouldn't listen or why she shouldn't listen to the teacher at school teaching her about these quotey fingers woke politics and woke isms and things of that nature uh it, it's it happened matter of fact hell matt walsh literally plays a <clears throat> yuppie liberal progressive type and you know, they literally go out of their way to make you look at him and go like yeah dude that's what liberals are like yeah, yeah. they're so like that <laughs> yeah like that look like because was he's wearing like some bad long-haired wig and he's just so like they, they almost kind of like honestly he comes off like what conservatives think gay people act like uh -huh, like he he, yeah. he comes like the way he portrays the character he plays he comes off almost like a like a like a white gay liberal can i just like, say something mm -hmm. La the lady ballers that movie sounds like one of them uh adult entertainment films it's it's say. it's Joanna Man for bigots. That's all. Basically, yeah, it's Joanna Man for bigots. If you if yeah, you've yeah. never seen Joanna Man, really. yeah, <laughs> Joanna Man, but um, which is problematic like, already. I was yeah, say, like yeah. Yeah. isn't that already a little? Yeah, well, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, but yeah. no, just, but, but but take the plot of Joanna Man, but also double down on trying to give every joke humanly possible, with the express purpose of owning the libs that's it that's it which i find funny because i'm like dude that is that sounds like a lot of work that sounds that's like uh, and also it sounds like a lot of work for a movie you know a lot of libs aren't gonna go see right like i mean no, some of us don't even know about but, it like, but, but they real. but they but they know that they know that that yeah this is all a shill for their people you want to see yeah. us own the libs the libs that <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. The libs that, that won't even watch this movie, then come watch us own the libs so that you can agree with us and then and then you can go tell them they're in an echo chamber. Damn. I was just, damn, me too. I was just hey, talk about an echo chamber. Go ahead. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's a uh, yeah, was it yeah, wait here, 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 here's one right here. This is this is this is one I love. This is, was uh Yvonne, yeah, I like this. <laughs> Yvonne G Lion. Uh, I, I like that. I like that. Oh, uh, this is a uh, blur without fear. Uh, Daily Wire movies will literally have characters who are straw men of liberals uh, exposit uh, their character, their motivations to the camera. Yeah, it, it, it's it's look it. I'll just I'll just put it like this, man. Uh, it, it, no one, no one at Disney hired Julia Garner to own the chuds. No one hired Julia Garner to, you know, for some kind of an agenda. I'm going to tell you right now, someone, you know, the, the, the people who wrote the, you know, the, the Fantastic Four movie, they very likely had a very specific story in mind. And, you know, this is all a part of a wider narrative. And yeah, it's, it's no, like, this is no different to me than the fact that the Professor X you saw in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is not the Professor X of the main Marvel continuity. It'll probably mm -hmm. be some other guy. The fact that the mm -hmm. fan, the, uh, uh, the Mr. Fantastic that we saw in Multiverse of Madness, no matter how much people were begging for John Krasinski to play Reed Richards was honestly, I would have rather they brought him back. Uh, but like you know, then 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 hire Pedro Pascal. Not say I don't like Pedro Pascal. It has nothing even to do so much with race. It actually has to do I more. I love Pedro Pascal. Yeah, I fucking love him. <laughs> the, 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 look, look, okay. Let me tell you how you can just automatically know off rip. It has nothing to do with race. When they hired him to be Joel in The Last of Us, I was like, bet, Fuck. bet. Yes. I was like, bet. Like Joel is a whole white man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but the, but 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 the whole point of this is. I personally do not feel like Pedro Pascal can play the Reed Richards that I would want to see. And yeah. I, I get it why some might 
think opposite of that. But you know, it is what it is. Like that that to me is when you start going into the whole like, oh well, we're just casting uh you know brown people just cause. Uh not really because like it, it's 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 uh you know, to to service the story in any uh major way. I want there to be the best story humanly possible. And if Marvel thinks that they're putting the best story forward, and to be fair, you know, do they all the time? No. But is it always like so egregiously bad that I should, you know, I'm going to tear up all my MCU posters and throw away all my comics? No, mm-hmm. no. I mean, this is going to be fine. Like, honestly, wait till you see the motherfucker. Like, I remember mm-hmm. all those people who were complaining about the new uh, uh, Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. And guess what? That movie did fucking numbers. It was great. It was fantastic. Uh, you know, people fucking loved it. The ones that actually went to go see it. Um, mm. and, and, and it was just, it, it, it left me wanting more. I didn't care that they changed April O'Neil to a black woman. I did not give a shit. Mm. Not because I'm black, but because I was like, you know what? Let me see what the fuck the story is. And does, uh, d- d- does she fit? And guess what? She fucking fit. <laughs> so let's just wait. No, that's crazy because I'm I'm because I'm over here petitioning for Giancarlo Esposito to play Magneto in the MCU, and I feel like that's gonna piss a lot of people off. But I love Giancarlo Esposito, and I saw a post, yeah. and I'm like, give this man what he wants. Please well, let God play Magneto. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, it's here's the thing, and I I I just want to point out to some people too, like yeah, just just in case it's not clear enough. If you don't like it, don't go watch it. But don't, don't, don't complain. Like, you know, uh, what was they they call it? Hating from outside the club. Right. If you, yeah, if you want to hate outside the club, don't expect me to listen to what you have to say or take what you have seriously. Take what you have to say seriously. Because if, like, and, and I've said this before, there have been movies that I did not go see. And people are like, oh man, isn't that movie so fucking terrible? And I'd be like, I don't know, haven't seen it. But I know there's a lot of people who, in that same breath, in that same conversation, who'd be like, yeah, man, fuck that movie. They haven't seen the movie. That's it. It's why I used to always okay. give... Or the source, but definitely not the source or the Or the source material. Yeah, you don't. You yeah. haven't seen that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Uh-huh. But uh, that that's honestly that that's that's all I I really well I, I say that's all I really have to say about that. But we do have some super chats that I want to go back and get because mm-hmm. I yeah you know, when we get to cooking you know sometimes I yeah you know, it happens. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we got a um uh we got one here from Gearless Mo. This was like way far back, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Yeah, it's way far back. Uh, but this was here. Uh, this is from Gearless Mo. Says I thought Left Face was more of a Doom fan. Not sure why, but I can see him speaking in a third person while demanding dinner. <laughs> you know what? F- not even kidding. My favorite villain of all time. I am super excited to see him <laughs> Doom come out. Um, and I know, I know it's God Doom. I know it's not main Doom. But uh, I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a a, a, a poster oh. of Doom pulling uh, Thanos's skeleton out of his body like that. Mm-hmm. That shit is so dope to me. Doom is my favorite villain. So I, I love me some get Doom. The, love get the me mask some Doom. And, and do an episode with, in full Doom cosplay. Oh yeah. man, that sounds like it would get hot. Yeah, it gets hot. And there's also some chud who does like Doom, uh, has like a oh. Doom nest. Too. Yeah. Chuds <laughs> are ruining everything. They Rest really are. Second, okay? They, <laughs> they really chud are. Had we could have had Robo Doom. Rodoom. <laughs> Rodoom. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that said, that was uh, that was yet another in <clears throat> the super chat. We got that. Uh, we got Elite X1 with the $5 says, uh, on your idea of a black X-Men team, how about the team coming together organically at a major protest or event that gets attacked by powered nationalists? That's that's actually not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea at all. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put mm-hmm. that. They're going to call them the bulk men. In the, hey, hey, you know what? Honestly, they probably, well, <laughs> as if the X-Men weren't already the woke men. Uh, oh, no, no, the X-Men can't be that woke because they if they were, if the X-Men were so woke, they'd be woke people. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> X people. X people. Also, <laughs> I'm gonna say it right now. Some of the best X Men, they're women. So there you go. Uh, anyway, and I'm if they're not the a, best X Men, is definitely a woman. Yeah. 
and, 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 <laughs> and after that, they're usually gay. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, when people lost their shit with Ice Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it, it was that was honestly that was a self-report for a lot of people. Uh, mm. um, Which is funny because Family Guy called it. And they did actually. Back. Well, there's but a I, reason why they called it though. Mm-hmm. Was it? Because he's been coded as gay for a long, long yeah. time. And so if you said, if you were mad about that shit, get again. Yeah. You don't read comics. There was, I have to, I'll have to try and remember what issue this was. I can't, I don't know if I ever saved it, but uh, I was actually going to do a video about this a long time ago, but it was uh, about like, kind of like the earliest moments where, uh, uh, where Iceman kind of gave you a sign. Like, like I'm talking about like, mm-hmm. like long before uh, it was because uh, I'll have to I'll have to you know, I, I don't remember the exact uh, numbering. I don't know if I actually still even have it saved because I've changed you know hard drives, computers and shit like that since then. But uh, there was a character he dated at one point who was kind of slick trans <laughs> really yeah <laughs> like not trans in like the 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 real world sense where like oh uh, i was uh, i was one gender when i was born my assigned gender and then i i switched uh genders via surgery or you know, chemical you know, uh, uh, uh therapy or whatever no it was one of those deals where it was a character who the they kept no they, they kept flipping genders like they had oh, some weird they, power they were thing. Gender fluid. Yeah, oh. they were basically yeah, because like at one point they would kinda be like Loki, oh, like Loki, kind of like Loki. Yeah, but but it was but the thing is oh. they couldn't control like, it. They it would in oh. in their case they couldn't control it, so they kept flipping backward and forward. And Iceman, regardless of this, still wanted to be with her, hmm. even though ever so often, hmm. whatever she might flip be and be a dude. Based. Hmm. Based. Wouldn't it be they them? Well, yeah, no, if, it, it, well, yeah, if, 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 they be, wanted, if they wanted to be, yeah. if they wanted to be like, but it, it was one of the, so to give me an idea, this is an old, this was an old, uh, 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 issue. This wasn't anything like recent. This wasn't even like when all the, uh, the, the, the stuff going on with, um, uh, with Iceman even started. This was like comics code authority era marvel comics like when the when you would still see that symbol at the top of the uh or so you have somewhere emblazoned on the cover of the yeah. comic so yeah mm-hmm. yeah i mean a lot well, a lot of people fail to understand about this sort of stuff is like when they talk about like oh that's bs like th- you would have seen this earlier i'm like bro <laughs> you weren't allowed to so even if the creator wanted to make a character gay they weren't allowed to yeah Uh, whether it was the comics authority or it was editors or it was your publishing company who said no you weren't allowed to so they had to figure out other ways to do it and if we know that artists are predominantly uh more progressive open minded since the 60s and and Mm -hmm. and before um we know there are plenty of writers and other artists that were like yes this character's gay i gotta figure out ways to hint to that because I'm not allowed to make it open in this thing. It's not, it's not, it's really not hard. Right. Yeah. It will, it, it just, uh, I was gonna do it, but I feel like this topic was a little uh, high heavy <laughs> for, the, for that, for that joke. So I was like, I'm gonna let that one slide. <laughs> <laughs> Giggity. Well, you know, it, it's kind of <laughs> funny. Um, there's a point where, um, they kind of hinted in oh my god when was this um this isn't the comic i was mentioning earlier but um there was an issue of x-men ouch uh uncanny x-men i believe they don't do this in the strictest sense so i don't want anybody going like oh see look he's trying to make a mountain out of a molehill uh but no there's a moment in uh, i'm trying to remember exactly when this was from um but uh, I believe it was number 320 or 319, something like that. Um, Iceman, he recounts trying to, like, talk to his dad. Uh-huh. And, I mean, I'm, I'm once again, I'm not saying that that's, you know, exactly what was going on here. But here, I'm going to pull this up because I want you all to be able to see this as well. Uh, but, like, right here, uh, he talks about, like, oh, yeah, I used to come here as a kid. Me and my dad. Mom wasn't a big fan of his after... 
uh, dinner cigar. And dad, dad was never really a big fan of me. Like, ta-da. So Pops, what do you think? He's basically talking about like the sand castle right here that he built. Uh, yeah, which, yeah, to be fair, yeah, it's kind of one of those things like, yeah, you can take that how you want to. And he says, no. oh, uh, uh, about building sand castles, he says after you, uh, you know, talking about what does he think. And then he says, I think it's hardly a skill that'll serve you well in life, Robert. A man doesn't get anywhere in this world by dreaming, boy, by making by, by making castles in the sand. And like, you know, you can take that how you want to. But basically, most people probably just took it as like the kind of you know, bargain bin like. You know, hey, this guy was just trying to have fun as a kid, so on and so forth. But, like, if you really just wanted to look for something deeper, because, like, once again, a lot of comics are coded in such a way that even if, you know, to a, you know, casual or normie that uh, um, you don't see it, it doesn't mean that someone else doesn't see something else that would never even have, uh, would have uh, occurred to you. It's kind of like what, uh, when I was talking to uh, uh, the creator of Gargoyles, Greg Weissman, and he was talking about how the character Lexington on Gargoyles is gay now. Uh, but he was also talking about how, like, we kind of coded him that way from jump. Like, it was one of those things, like, we couldn't just outright say he was gay, but we did little things that if you were a gay person, you would probably see that and go, huh, makes sense to me. Um, but, like, it was kind of one of those deals where, you know, for me, as I read it, even as a kid, I was just kind of like, I was like, oh, yeah, he's kind of trying to say, is he, like, trying to say building sandcastles is girly or not mm. manly? That's kind of how I read it. So, I mean, once again, it's, it's one of those deals. Things can be coded, and just because you don't get it doesn't mean that it wasn't there. It just means it wasn't for you. But a lot it of things do you. get coded. Right. Yeah. yeah, a lot of things yeah. get coded in, in, a, in, a, in a very uh, you know, specific way. But Yeah, just, just watch uh, uh, Kendrick Lamar's last diss track. No, I, mean, you, I I had to watch a whole different YouTube video to figure out what it was about. It's oh yeah, like, it's clearly only for uh, super hip hop heads, though. <laughs> well, no, see, the thing is, I, I used to I used to count myself among that number, but I'm such a casual now, just because like I just don't care to to, to get into the inside baseball of it. But like, yeah. yeah, when I when I was listening to the track, I was like, oh, okay, all right. I had to do the same okay. thing. Someone had to explain it to me, and I was like, oh, okay. okay. I guess I'm out of touch. I mean, it, it was pretty cool once it was explained, but I sure shit wasn't picking that up on my own. That's a damn sure. Like, ah, it's a reference to two albums ago, and the title of that album was this, and now he's using that to make fun of him. And mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, okay, that's nice. It's like, <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's like, no, I'm, go off, King. I'm cool. I, I mean, it is it is what it, uh, yeah, it is what yeah. it is kind of at this point, but uh, for me... For me, just because you know, I you know, I said we would do this, and uh, you know, we are going to do this because you know we still got a little bit more to cook. Um, we do have one more thing here from uh, Extra Medium uh, with the five dollars. Says anyone else think Pascal can't be enough of a douche uh, to play Reed Richards? Uh, I I think he can. He has the capacity to play a character of that magnitude. He's a great. He's a yeah. great actor. He has and range. That's the part where I I'm gonna have to like uh, contradict myself. Some people in the chat were saying, and I, and and I read it, and I'm like, that's a good point. We just gotta wait and see, because that's always my main thing. Is like mm -hmm. you know a person for something. Like Heath Ledger was the rom com uh, heartbreaker, and then everybody made fun of that. You know who mm -hmm. else was a was a was a was a uh, overly sensitive whatever from Titanic. Leonardo DiCaprio and these guys are never thought of as anything else and then until you give them a role and it's like oh my god like they could change it up so maybe uh, Pedro Pascal is such a great actor that he projects Reed Richards in a way that I didn't think he did and and and, I, and it might be my fault for only being able to see him as Joel we'll see that's a good that's point great. we'll see that shit reminded me of uh, Adam Sandler you know he always plays the same character in all his uh, uh comedy mm -hmm. and the last two movies he did weren't like in the more serious side, uh, and I was like, he needs to do more shit like this. Mm. I can take it more serious, or not take it more serious, but like he does the role pretty well. I think what mm. there was one where he was like, uh, he was a jeweler, and the other one was like uh, he was like a basketball recruiter, and I was like, holy shit, this dude actually 
can act uh, outside of yeah. his uh, uh art, what's it? It's not archetype. Uh, cast type. Uh, that's a oh, term for it. You the, uh, your typecast. Yeah, yeah. Typecast. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I'll say this much. Uh, you know, for for Pedro Pascal, I think I think he could do it. I, I think he can. The question is whether or not people will be able to see it as natural. Because, you know, sometimes we get to we get so used to an actor being like so affable. And you, you, you sometimes you forget that, like, oh, he's got an outside persona uh, you know, that, that that's that's viewed one way. And then you try and see him in a movie. It's like, oh, I just can't see him as that because, you know, I'm so used to seeing him be so so much of a goofball right. elsewhere. Like, right. I think that's one of those things. Honestly, we're going to have to we're we're all. We are all going to have to check that shit at the door when we go in to see this. Kind of like how you should do, honestly, for pretty much any, uh, right. uh, uh, any, any, uh, your know, movie that you plan to watch. But I, I, I think, I think it'll be like once again, my dislike for him being cast has nothing to do with him. Uh, mm-hmm. His, his, or rather, his acting ability has more to do with the fact that honestly, I would rather him play somebody else. Uh, you know, personally. But uh, let's talk about the, because uh, we said we were. Let's talk about this Ed Pisker uh, situation, uh, which has been all over the interwebs. And uh, we'll, we'll, when we do talk about that, we're also going to, uh, uh, we're also going to answer the super chat here as well, because uh, it kind of, uh, <laughs> it, it, it's kind of in the same energy as what we're about to lead into this with. Uh, Paris Jewel with the five dollars says anti woke uh, rhetoric, continuously complaining about stuff in this way is like me eating almond joys, then making it my personality to bitch about it. Like that's yeah, it's like look, Damn, that's good. It's like dude, damn, I love, good. I actually that, love almond joys. Like, like unirri- unironically, I love almond joys. <laughs> I, I, I I hate. Uh... I already know how this is going to sound, but I'm not trying to be funny, but I literally hate nuts in my chocolate or my ice cream. Can That's I fair. That? That's like, fair. I feel like I should get I that. hate it. I hate it. I've always hated it. If they so you give me Rocky Road or some shit with like almonds in my ice cream, I'm like, That's fuck fair. is this shit? But I like, but I like, I like assorted nuts. Okay. Can I get it? Because I I want to. Yeah, you can. It's only here. Let me. I feel like I had to do. I feel like I had to do that. I feel like I had to do that. That that was. Oh, he's like, oh, I know how people are gonna come at me. I was like, oh, okay. So. And then when I say people, I just mean Chris, and 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 he's never come at me. But I think it's because you know what I think it is. I think it's my insecurity with you being so much younger that I'm like, he's gonna get me. He's going to get me on this one. He's got me. I will say this. You know what, though? You know, but here's the thing, Chad. He's right. Because when we met, I was that dude that paused everything. Yeah. Like, oh, oh yeah, man. I'm trying to get it in focus. I was like that guy. And so I get it. I get it. So fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Pause, though. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. Um, uh, let's can see here. Can I, can I say something real quick, real quick? Yeah, sure. Um, no, and then we got to get back into it. This is the last, last non-serious thing because it's about to get super dark. So we're gonna, we're gonna extend the laughs a little bit. Yeah, we yeah. can't say no, Diddy. Did no, Diddy is not pause. Okay, and I need you all to be with me on this I because agree. the being gay is the least important thing behind what came out with with Diddy. Okay? Yes. Uh, so if we're gonna say anything's no, Diddy. That has to be the whole like that has to be the call out that you're being a pedo because that's the shit that that Diddy was that that's the bigger deal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you got somebody talking about that like somebody looks young or or saying like somebody's hot and then you're like, I don't even know how old that girl is, call no Diddy on that motherfucker. All right. Oh, hey, it's a caveat. And if, you want, and if he wants to piss on her, then say no Kelly. No Kelly. <laughs> no Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's very circumstantial. By the way, that no Diddy also extend to the Lolita fans and in, in the anime groups. Yeah, uh, if yeah. You got, if you if you got somebody who likes questionable anime, uh no, nah, no Diddy can't nah, bro, can't no I, Diddy. can't like that shit. I'm yeah, like, have you, you, know have you seen XYZ? <laughs> nah, bro, no Diddy. Yeah, no Diddy nah, on Diddy, that one. Nah, nah. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I'll I'll even say too, like there was a part that you know, both my wife and I had to kind of sit back and kind of think about to ourselves because, like I said, we've been watching you know Demon Slayer together. 
And, you know, one of the characters in the show, Nezuko, who's the sister of the main character, Tanjiro, she's a little girl. But, like, whenever she, like, demons out, like, it was one of those things that got real oh, weird. Yeah, like, she she grows to become more like an adult. Like, she gets, like, t- like full-on, like, fucking titties. Mm-hmm. Like, like full-on mm-hmm. anime titties. She's got, like, a figure. And then, like, when she, like, you know, kind of, like, is no longer, like, hulked out, she's, you know, back to being, back. like, a... A, a prepubescent mm-hmm. little girl, mm-hmm. and, and even me and my wife, we're just kind of like. <sighs> she could also shrink even smaller. I mean, she is a demon. Yeah, yeah right. right. Yeah. yeah. You know what's you aware? Of? You know what's you aware about that? She's the only character that got demonized because when she got demonized, she was an adult. Yeah, I mean, she was like, yeah. a, like, like a year well, younger than Tanjiro. She was like, she was like, kind of in the same vein as, uh, yeah. About, she wasn't yeah. a child, but I think she was like a young teen, though. So yeah, yeah, she was a young teen. I, she yeah, regressed. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, what, that's what I meant. That's what yeah. I meant. But like, okay. but like, uh, out of all the demons, they, when you see their backstory, how they transform, they stay relatively immortalized the age that they turned. She's the only one that can go from prepubescent to full grown woman. And no, that's not a bad point because when I thought about that, damn, that's really good. Mm-hmm. That's also that, that's another one. Damn, I'm I'm losing my touch here. That's that's two mm-hmm. observations that I didn't think of yet. Yeah, uh, this, because, I think like this because of you, because you taught me. <laughs> it's like yeah. teach me. I, when I when I saw her grow, and you're right, you know what I mean. She would have, she would be, you know, had the parts of a woman. I took that as just the way that she would grow anyway, because she was able to shrink to go to go inside the case that that he carries her in to protect her from the sunlight. <gasps> um, but you're right. Why, you know, when she shrinks, she doesn't turn into an infant. She just becomes a smaller version of herself. Why doesn't she just look like a large child? Why did they have to give her titties mm-hmm. and everything? Mm-hmm. It's like, no, you're right. That's weird. She's 14. They, they did eat that up. Yeah. They yeah. did that up. up. Yeah, yeah, they did eat yeah, it up. They, yeah, yeah. They, uh, they did yeah. Yeah. Again. <laughs> it says, like, yeah, her bio, mm-hmm. uh, her bio, lo- like, she's, she's technically 14, but her biological age is only 12. Uh, because the fact that like, I mean, well, okay. So she got turned into a demon when she was like, she was 12 when she became 12. a demon. So she effectively okay. is like no longer Stop truly DJ alive. Got right. Got but she's so real quick. Mm-hmm. If you go back to like any, uh, I think it was in Mugen train, like in the flashback when he's, uh, when Tanjo talks to her at, at, before she got demonized, she even looks older or on part to him. You know what I mean? Like he, they, yeah. they give the, the mom get up, mm-hmm. but not the womanly figure. And that's, that's yeah. why I feel that. Go ahead. It's just weird because yeah. Go ahead. No, no, I was no. I, I, yo, you're cooking. You're cooking. Uh, I, I just, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. Uh, it just, which is weird because usually Japanese animation and stories are usually a lot more, uh, sensitive when it comes to like young it? women. It's uh, yeah. So it was very odd, uh, characteristic. <laughs> very, very, very. Uh, I will say here. Uh, oh, here we got a we got a super chat here uh, that we need. To, uh, we're gonna take a look at real quick, and I want to touch on this one just because you know it, it is indicative of something we were just talking about. Uh, but yeah, Matthew Anderson with the four ninety nine says really appreciate combos like these. I started reading. I, I started reading. See, I read ahead a little bit. Uh, I <laughs> I was already a schism before I, I I got to the yeah that's how my brain works. It could have uh, been something with the word jizz in it. And I, I, I just, just I, like, you, you never know, know, man. You know, and then we had to <laughs> been like no something. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just, I started. That would have been a no, no ditty though. That yeah, just, well, yeah, just trying to help you out here. That would have been yeah. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he said I started reading X Men after schism, <laughs> so I didn't know about uh the coding bobby had this is dope to learn here's the thing it, it, it this is it's kind of like what they did with mystique and destiny back in the day like they they found little ways to get around the idea that they couldn't necessarily just outright say that's my wife uh mm-hmm. like oh that's my partner that's my roommate that's my roommate that's, that's my friend. friend you know that's this. a friend that has a farm right yeah. that, that aunt that aunt that always brought her roommate to these uh family yeah. functions right dude, it's like dude it's like look we already like it it, it, it reminded me of those things like you know, in, in a black family that had like you know, more than a handful of you know, gay or lesbian uh you know, people in it mm-hmm. like it was one of those things like we always knew we just it's like, oh, we we know, we know. 
And it's like, it, gonna, don't, yeah. don't fake. Don't, we, we know who that is to you. You don't have to lie. I was, I was about to say, it's just like Dominican families, but you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. There was still plenty. Don't get me wrong. There was plenty of homie, homophobia to, to go around the table. Don't get me wrong. Mm. But uh, but it was one of those things like it, it, like in my family, you know, not to to you know, to make it hot for anybody. But in my family, it was one of those things where for the most part, everybody was OK. Uh, with you know, with with homosexuality, it was just one of those things that we just didn't acknowledge. We didn't talk about it like it wasn't like mm. a topic of conversation. Like, oh, did you hear about mm. so and so's? Uh, did, you, did you hear about uh, Uncle Larry's boyfriend or did you hear about Aunt Sue's girlfriend? It was never like that. It was just like if they showed up at a family function, no one like treated them you know, poorly, at least not outwardly that I would notice. Maybe like they would say they something say I didn't catch. Church. Yeah, they right. Bible study in church. <laughs> right, right. Like they would never say anything like directly like straight up to the face. And like if you were like if like if you were like, you know, uh, uh, like a gay man or a gay woman in my family, you came over with your significant other. No one like ran you off and you know, everybody would be very pleasant to your significant other while you were there. But there were some people that once you left, they was probably gonna talk some shit. Oh, yeah. Or like before you show up, they were going to talk some shit. That's just how fucked up my family was. Yeah. Uh, not all of my family, but I we, I had there are certain people in my family I'm not yes. proud of. Uh, of course. Speaking of motherfuckers, I ain't proud of. I shot. I shot. Yeah. <laughs> this energy, by the way, Chad, is not going to match what he's about to say next. So, oh, not no. consistent, <laughs> not consistent, not consistent at all. Not like, consistent. Ah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Like, go <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, so suicide, right? Yes, yeah, <laughs> so suicide. <laughs> no, I think on the wrong part there. I don't want to. I know chat right now is like. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? What the fuck is wrong with these 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 three motherfuckers right here? Uh, no, heathens. That's what's going on. <laughs> well, I, I am I am a heathen. I'll I'll, I'll cop mm. to that. Um, but so right. we talked about Ed Pisker, uh, last week on the show. Ed Pisker, uh, we talked about the allegations that a young lady came out with. Uh, accusing him of, we won't say like, like she not said like grooming. Yeah, no, yeah it was it was grooming. Not rape. Not yeah. yeah there she was said it what it was. Right. Yeah. There was no like you know physical sexual assault or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It was just mm -hmm. it was like honestly no dick pics. Yeah. Yeah. Like not not that we know. Like I, I don't I don't remember anything like that. If there if yeah. and, and there I were mean, other people she, who, she, would, she would have aired it out if there was. Oh, know? I'm sure she would have. Uh, with, with as much mm -hmm. as she aired out about uh right. uh, uh you know, about him that we talked about. Yeah, I would imagine so. Um, but here's the thing I find kind of interesting here is um, so that was Thursday. Mm -hmm. We talked about all this. The news, I think, came out earlier in the week, if I'm not mistaken. So it was about a week or so leading up to uh, when he was uh, he he was found dead. He committed so he unalived himself uh, uh, as a result of uh, these allegations. Now, irresponsibly I, on April Fool's. Wasn't yeah, I was gonna say like, oh, I don't know if he did it on April Fool's, but I know that's when his body was found. That's, and honestly, that's, that's that, yeah, I was going to say, that's actually very irresponsible just in and of itself, because I'm not going to lie, when people were telling me about it, I thought it was an April Fool's joke. I thought he was just... That's what I was, yeah. I was, that's what I was waiting on. I was waiting for, like, the reveal. Yeah. If, I ever, if I ever hit the eject button, it's not going to be on April Fool's. I need to nah. I, like, I'm not even going to do it on the week of April Fool's, like, like the week before or the that's week after. Left. <laughs> They're joking, guys. Okay? <laughs> They're joking. This motherfucker. Mm. But, uh, so, mm -hmm. for those who don't know who we're talking about... Ed Pisker is a comic book artist. We've talked about his work before. Uh, if you ever like I, the, the thing he's most known for is uh, X Men Grand Design. Uh, mm -hmm. X Men series. Yeah. yeah, he did X Men Grand Design. He was also responsible for uh, Hip Hop uh, Family Tree. And he was also well known for uh, Cartoonist Kayfabe, uh, a show that he did every week with uh, Jim Rugg. Um, 
Now, that said, when the allegations jumped out uh, about him, we gave our piece on it. And I think we universally pretty much said it was just more the fact that he was a grown-ass man trying to hit on a girl who was clearly still in high school. That's right. Like that, like that, that was that was our take on it. Nobody Plain was there simple. to tell him no diddy. Yeah, no one yeah, no diddy, no doubt. Okay. Yeah. There, there you go. Back. No diddy, no doubt. Oh there God. you go. Uh <laughs> like but but don't mm. come in. Yeah. <laughs> say, but, but don't but don't come in and say you like the way that we're like no, I don't like the way you work. <laughs> <laughs> No, did <laughs> uh, uh, but no, uh, uh, this is serious. This it's is serious, 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 y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> Paris, like, stop making me laugh. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Wait. Oh, Look, man. if we're going to if we're going to hell, everybody who laughs is going to hell. Just so you don't know. Yeah. Well, man, it, I hope it, not. Hey, hey, but hey, hey, hey. Here's the best part. Mm. If you don't believe in hell, then you don't go anywhere. That's it. You just it's stay really in the box. Like magic. You have to believe. <laughs> It's not, it's not just Santa. It's hell, too. Yeah. Imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Pure imagination. <laughs> but no, actually, I need to clip that so I can uh, you have that to just throw up at times. But no, um, here's the thing. So we haven't... None of this could go to court. None of this could be... Um, you know, and to be fair... It's not like the the woman who accused him. It wasn't even. I don't even feel like so much. She was trying to like get him arrested or she get said him. As much. Yeah, she wasn't even trying. She to, literally yeah. said, "I'm not trying to cancel. I'm trying to let people know the kind of people that are out there." Yeah, like he's gonna keep. He's not going to jail. He didn't do anything illegal. No, I'm not going to cops. I'm not suing. I'm not going to civil court. I want to show you mm -hmm. why. I, and she even said. She doesn't even consider herself a victim because she was smart enough to see it. I'm just going to show yeah. you what he tried to do so that you can be aware when these creepos try it on you, too. That's it. Yeah, because if he was doing it then, he very likely was still doing it now. If he if he had the wherewithal to use his position as a well-known comic artist and, and personality in comics, knowing this woman was an artist, knowing this woman wanted to break into the industry, knowing this woman looked up to him, he used that and tried to, you know, <clears throat> here, let me, allegedly get her to sleep with him. You know, allegedly. At no point in any of her statement does she say, yeah, put his ass in jail. She was very fucking clear about that. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. Where he failed was in the court of public opinion. Mm -hmm. And that's because, I'm sorry, I can say this now, and I think I said this last week, as a 41-year-old man, the only teenage uh, 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 girl that I am aware of, that I have ever spoken to, that is not my own child, is whenever my stepson comes by the house or goes to a family function and brings uh, uh, one of their roommates or friends over that is a girl. And the extent of the conversation is, hi, bye. That, that's it. That's all they get. That's all they get said to them. There's nothing a girl who literally just failed a, 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 a second period algebra test in 11th grade. There's nothing she can do for me. I don't mm -hmm. care how good her art is. I don't care. Like, I don't even, like, people like that, like, people in that age bracket are completely invisible to me in terms mm -hmm. of, like, uh, um, attraction. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. It will, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. and that's the thing. It's like, look, even if you take out the whole groomer thing, it's just mm -hmm. fucking weird. It's yeah. creepy, and it's yeah. fucking weird, okay? Yeah. I mentioned this before, but Drake, you know, Drake being friends with Eleven like that. It's like, okay, yeah. even if even if we're saying that, okay, nothing like Diddy happened, fine, fine, fine. Yeah. Still fucking weird. I would feel I would weird out to even be a friend. And even if I knew it was just a friend, like, 
how are you friends with a fucking child? Just a child, man. Uh-huh. Uh, Black yeah. Phoenix 77 said it. He goes, yeah, he didn't do anything illegal. I don't know why he took himself out over that. Kind of makes you wonder, don't it? Right. Like, it, like, oh, it makes you wonder, out. don't it? Well, because here's the thing. If this would have gone to court, see, here's a little thing. Okay, so yeah, I, I want to make sure that I'm uh, 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 that I'm 100% clear on this because I want to make sure people understand that court... You Okay, do you know why... Uh, a lot of things typically don't go to court. Why a lot of times people try to settle disputes uh, uh, of a sexual impropriety nature. Do you know why they try to uh, um, settle out of court or, uh, uh, or you know, try and you know, reach some kind of a monetary agreement to 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 get the 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 trial to not go to if like because I'm not saying this was in any danger of being such, but just that if because I that, I kept seeing people say this a lot. Oh, he never got his day in court. He never got it, that's his own goddamn fault. Uh, it, even if the, she even, wasn't murdered, yeah, she, she was. was <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say she wasn't murdered, and he wasn't even being arrested. He wasn't under threat of pol- of being detained you know? by the police. So here's the thing: even he if it, like he was sniped, <laughs> right? Like people, like I saw people saying "rest in power" to this motherfucker. I was like, did not nobody? Uh, I was like, dude, ain't no cop put their knee on his neck for nine minutes and some goddamn change. Get so the Ed fuck Fisker's out. Ma- marginalized now. He's marginalized yeah. now. But no, yeah, look. <laughs> We just can't stop. We yeah, just can't nothing. stop marginalizing the ditties of the world, like right. Know, oh my god. <laughs> well, it's like yeah, that's, it, that's it, kind of dirtier than intended. I like to throw this word around. It's called discovery. That's, that's a good word. No, if stop, nerd large, stop. Sorry, if wait, 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 hold on. What do you wait? What did nerd large say? Drake, Drake is dating a girl who is Millie Bobby's age now. Huh. Uh-huh. Uh, Interesting. Oh, age now. now okay. Oh, got, yeah. you, got, you, got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Like still, now, but still. She's Let's like twenty. See. Yeah, I think. Cause yeah, she she's an adult now. I believe. I think she's at least. I think she's like eighteen, oh, nineteen years old, something so like that. Drake is damn near our age at thirty. Yeah, that's still creepy. That's still creepy. Billy Bobby Brown age is twenty. Okay, so yeah, even then, how old is Drake? Mm-hmm. That's weird. 37. 37. Mm. He was also best. He was also best with Billie Eilish before she turned 18. That's weird. yeah. So, well, so, yeah. So I'm a I'm not a fan of 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 diluting words like pedo. So we're not gonna throw the ditty on them. But you're still a fucking weirdo. You yeah, be, no, it's, you it's weird. Allowed, you wouldn't be allowed my kids. Are you gonna be allowed around my? No, kids. no, God. Sure. Matt, I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now. If you think that a 40 year old man dating a girl that's even 18 years old, let's say she's legal that's age, weird. even then, I, okay, I I challenge you, I challenge you. Ask yourself a question. If your fellow 40 year old friends had a daughter that age, would you date them? And if you did, you might you not did, like the answer. To <laughs> yeah, if you did, I well, no, I was gonna say, if you did, would you be surprised by the response? Because uh-huh. I'm going to tell you right now, the response, well, it will probably have a lot to do with the fact that you are close, but also with the fact that that, that implies a lot of shit. Because if you date somebody, yeah. it, that's not some shit that just happens out of nowhere. Yeah. It usually yeah. starts somewhere. And, and this is kind of where I'm going with this. Um, the case of Ezra Miller. And Takata Iron Eyes. Ezra Miller knew Takata Iron Eyes when she was like 12 or 13 years old. That motherfucker from You Got Served. I uh, forgot his name. He knew his, I think, now wife when she was 14 or some shit like that. Yeah, that shit's weird. That shit's weird to me. I don't yeah, like that. And then, and like, now there's like a 20 year difference and shit like that. But they were, uh, and, Crazy when he tried to defend himself and shit, he was like, "Oh, nothing weird ever happened before that, whatever the case may be." But then he said something about the same shit, the young and molding and all that. Yeah, bullshit that they said, you know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, yeah. But, they love telling on themselves. They feel like that's just like a normal thing to say. Yeah. Well, like I, love, I said, not, whatever they tell Mario. Like, Wait, is it you guys? No, not on Mario. It's not on my. It's it might be. It might not be you guys. Sir, I, I might be tripping. 
But I mean, either way, nah. it's still gross. It, yeah. it, it, it's, it's gross behavior. Mm. But like mm. the discovery process is the reason why this probably never would have went to court. Because mm. no one likes this process. This is the mm. process where you got to give up information. And discovery is everything. Like mm. discovery is your cell phone. It's your computer. Like, uh, what was it? Alex Jones recently went through this because uh, during his trial, that was why there were so many Quotey Fingers Perry Mason moments in that in that trial was because he had to give the prosecution everything, everything, including a copy of his entire fucking cell phone. That's images, videos, text messages, everything, whatever the fuck is on your phone. At that moment, you got to give it up. That's why there was so. That's why all that information about his his uh, his sexual impropriety came out. I say all this mm-hmm. because I guarantee if Ed Pisker was hitting on a girl that was that young, if He's for younger, yeah, if, if for whatever reason this did go to court, which it would not have, but if it did, if for whatever reason someone decided to take him to court for it. It would probably open the fucking floodgate of other shit that he's said and done that is not public knowledge to everyone. And he probably, like, the public shaming he probably couldn't take, which, honestly, I feel like he could have ignored that because I feel like I have seen way more people defend him. Uh, What was it? I, I recently saw the shit the other day. Broke my fucking heart to fucking see it. Uh, But Greg Smallwood, an artist who I used to fucking admire... Mm-hmm. had this shit to say uh, on Twitter says I didn't know Ed Pisker but I wish I had cartoonist kayfabe kept me going when I was ready to quit he and Jim gave so much of themselves to comics and we repaid them with cruelty wish I had spoken up even if it's even if it's vanity to think I could have made a difference I'm sorry Ed rest in peace here's spoken, the thing spoken up for what what exactly yeah. would you have said it's okay to talk yeah. to 17 year olds like that is that what you would have said like, you yeah because that's a yeah, self-report said, that's the same thing that we've seen you know I, I have heard you know I have heard um we don't have to name names you know somebody made like a, a good point where it was like well I feel like you know, maybe maybe you want to think to see the best in people. Maybe you read that suicide note, which I which I'm sure we're gonna to get to. Mm-hmm. But and then you go, but I mean, even that person was like, "Damn, now nah, you're right." You know, you put it like that, you're right. Mm-hmm. You know, my wife, my wife, she's a therapist. She's like, "This shit screams." Uh, I take no accountability, and really, it just made him look more guilty. I mean, yes. if you are confused at the at, at at the fact that a guy who didn't do it got internet hate and then killed himself. Your confusion it re- is 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 stems from the idea that it doesn't make sense, especially with the amount of support that that he received. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm wondering why I'm bourbon all the time, drinking soda on the stream, but that's not that's not smart. But the thing is, is like the, that that these kind of people, a they they don't find anything wrong with it. They'll say shit like, "Well, she was 17 though," and and all this shit, and it's like, no, 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 no something else is going on here you didn't kill yourself first of all real quick let me just share um you know something that that my wife was you know, me and my wife were talking about this this morning and she's like look she goes i it, she said it's kind of dangerous to be pulling the depression card shit right yeah because, because it kind of sits out there like as if uh you know that he's a victim in all of this um there are people who get caught doing shit and then they're gone because of the shame of doing it. You know what I right. mean? If if somebody gets caught doing actual pedo stuff with children and they kill themselves, we know damn well it's not because of depression. Like, right. like you know, what I mean, I, that and that's why I like. I think a lot of people feel uncomfortable with the jokes we're making. I had a way worse thumbnail ready. Oh uh, man, you know, what I mean, if, if you watch my <laughs> face TV, you saw it yesterday. But it, it's not the fact that I am. I am the extremely uh, respectful. Um, I am. I am pro mental health. I'm pro therapy. I'm pro 
psych meds. I'm pro all of that shit. Um, you know, you hear people talk about that. So Robin Williams is rich. Robin Williams left behind a family. And it makes me angry because it's like, then you don't fucking understand depression. You don't right. understand how your brain. So this is not about talking down about suicide. What it is, is what happens when you get caught uh, stealing millions and millions of dollars and you get caught and you got to spend the rest of your life in prison and you kill yourself. Was that depression? Was that your mind? You're like, no, 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 no. You're broken. You got to go pay the concerts. So now you kill yourself. What mm-hmm. happens when you get caught and you're like, you're messing with little tiny kids and, and you yeah. realize that everybody in the world knows you're a piece of shit and you kill yourself. Is that depression? Is that suicide? Is that, man, I wish he had fouled the hotline. No, he didn't want to face the consequences. Mm-hmm. Now, Ed Pisker comes out here and he does. Th- I'm going to be honest with you. This might be a hot take here. This is a hot take for people uh, who might seemingly be on our side. The least. Mm-hmm. He was called her a naughty girl, called her a good girl, and said, hey, if you ever come through this way, I got an extra room. No dick pics. No, you trying to fuck. No, you, no, you, what are you wearing? He didn't do any of that. He did the least. And in that least, most normal people saw, bro, that was kind of gross, man. Nobody called for his job. Nobody called for his going to jail. We just saw the least and said, that's kind of gross, bro. Damn, man. Why are dudes so gross? That's what we did. And then he kills himself. No, bro. There was something else. Something else. Oh, yeah. This no. is my speculation. I'm not, I don't have proof. Oh. This is, is all that. But there's something else going on that he knew was going to come out. And that's, and that's why Blurry put up that discovery picture. Yeah. Something else was going on here. Oh, yeah. And it was uh, G. Martinez Max said, uh, do we forget that artists of all caliber pour pieces of themselves in their art? Maybe he did not cancel himself because of the public shame, but rather uh, for other improprieties unexplored. And that's exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. And, and, and I know, I don't, I'm not trying to sound like conspiracy brother here because, I mean, honestly, I third generation don't give a fuck about Ed Pisker. I literally had never said the man's name T- more than twice in my entire life up until mm-hmm. recently so it, that just, i reckon i recognize his art but i couldn't tell you who did it I'm like, yeah oh, no, no, no. like i i didn't know like and honestly cartoon is kayfabe was one of those things i never watched it oh uh, so yeah. yeah just it wasn't a thing for me it, mm-hmm. it it was one like not gonna lie a lot of it was largely due to the fact that while i don't know if they have any connection or not but uh, whenever I saw cartoon as kayfabe, uh, kayfabe, like the thumbnail picture, or whatever, I always would. It always would put me too much in the mind of what is that uh, shit that Ethan Van Skyver does, the fandom menace or whatever, yeah. uh, whatever the fuck. It, like I don't know for whatever reason, it, it just whenever I saw that, I just like, oh, he must be one of those motherfuckers. I'm like, okay, cool, I'm good. Mm-hmm. Uh, but and I remember hearing some comics gate rumblings in the past. So I was like, I don't know if they're true or not. I don't care. Uh, yeah. But. I'm not going to read this whole note, but I'm definitely going to tell you right now. Just if you scroll through the note, mm-hmm. I'm not going to read because like this, this is how long the note is. God damn. That means I read excerpts of it. Yeah, this is this is this is the whole note. Like I'll I'll, I'll hit yeah. the high notes of it. But, but basically, uh, he says I'm so high notes. Is high notes <laughs> the correct term here? Just asking. I mean, I think it'd be worse to say low notes. <laughs> <laughs> Or the Fair dead enough. note. Right, Actually, no way. Or to say the dead that's note. Death note. Uh, that's a death <laughs> the, note. The death note. <laughs> this, this is what he wrote in his death note. Uh, he says, I'm so sorry for being uh, so stupid. I definitely should never have talked with Molly D. The language and optics look real dumb at best, but I promise my innocence. Especially out of context, it looks terrible. It was the height of COVID with no end in sight, and I was alone through most of it. I was just happy to have the internet to talk to people with common interest. The way that I noticed her was when she would like a bunch of my pictures at once. I wasn't trolling Instagram randomly, but I definitely... Pause, 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 pause. I want you all to check this out real quick. Sorry, I'll let you... Uh, Oh, no, no, no. Actually, I like that. That was a really good Sam Cedar. It was a really good Sam Cedar. (laughs) (laughs) The way I already told you, I'm trying... I'm going for Emma Viglin here, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. By the way, I'm Googling who the hell you guys are talking about. I'm sorry. Give me a second. The way, listen, I just want to just real quick, I'm only going to address one line here. The way that I noticed her was when she would like a bunch of my pictures at once. Please believe he's setting up the low-key victim blame. Oh, yeah. What he said in that, uh uh-huh, boom. What he said right there, but he can't say it. He he knows how it sounds if he says it all right. Oh, yeah. He knows. Same thing. He's like, she came on to me. 
That's what he did there. But go ahead. Okay, so yeah, no, I, I 100% agree with this. Uh, mm-hmm. They said, uh, uh, um, seeing someone younger representing uh, R. Crumb and Gigi Allen gave me hope for the next generations and maybe curious curiosity killed the cartoonist there was no way i'd have a 17 year old stay at my place maybe not even maybe not 18 even i was forward projecting to some unknown future where covid lockdowns were finished first off that's bullshit uh and (laughs) and we could see people again and it wasn't even with sex in mind but simply saying that there's a bed here to crash like the kindness that was given to me a bunch of times when i was starting out Zine Fair, uh, was it Zine Fair in town? Come crash. Ask Liana Fink or anyone else who's come to visit. It doesn't mean sex. When I asked if she could keep a secret, it was because I was sharing some Red Room pages before announcing the book and was just trying to sound cool. Tone is missing. When I said naughty girl, it was sarcastic. After she told me some uh, simple crime or infraction, she committed. The whole pile of my DMs she collected to show is just awful to look at. I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to offer professional favors to anybody or use my quotey fingers position, what a joke, to get into anyone's pants. Okay, first off. Minimizing the fact that he is an accomplished an it, accomplished well-known artist. Well-known <laughs> artist. Yeah, let, let's 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 not even let's let's ignore that entirely. Uh we're mm-hmm. all in the art game, so why not introduce new friends to old friends when I was bringing up any professional stuff uh to anybody? It was just common ground conversation. So before I jump to this next part, because this is where it starts to get ugly. Mm. He really downplays a lot of what happened. And like, it's kind of funny because at first it almost, when you read it, it almost kind of sounds like, oh, well, maybe he's going to cop. Maybe he's going to cop to some shit. And it's like, no, he's not. No, he's not. But he goes on to say, then seeing these DMs even further out of context on other outlets and media sites, Matt P at, uh, was it PGH, whatever, uh, City Paper. Oh, Pittsburgh City Paper. Uh, says, uh, you know you know what you did to skew your narrative, fuck you, but they surely gave themselves their own plausible deniability by asking me for comments right as I'm trying not to jump off a bridge or something. Molly Wright is a conundrum Hold to on. me. Oh, go ahead. Just, just so y'all know, uh his family members and his friends all uh tagged that person at that you know it's a it's a local city paper mm-hmm. um go google it oh, yeah, i don't have it ready right here but i will mm-hmm. tell you this much that paper was exactly the sort of article you you typically find in a city article it literally said local artist is accused of this here is the things that 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 were said here are some of the texts that were released, period. Like it didn't, it didn't mm. lead in. It didn't call them names. It didn't try to yeah. make them feel guilty. It just said what happened. And so the fact that they were mad at that is is also telling. Oh no, hundred percent. Uh, well, it says was it uh, Molly Wright is a conundrum to me, and her actions uh, border criminal. Uh, he said, she said, never looks good. But none of what she said happened, and I can't believe she'd be so malicious and pile on like this. Now that I'm officially checked out, I think my family has a civil lawsuit and she should be held accountable. She pushed this over the edge into multiple women territory. It's so corny. I absolutely never asked for a blowjob and trade for uh, for anything ever. She successfully made me look stupid and everybody accepted her word as fact. Citizens of the internet are playing such dangerous games with people's lives. I never had anyone lined up for an open relationship with her. I never was interested in a relationship with her. We had sex twice and she initiated both times. Okay, first off. That is that is the epitome of he said, she said right there. Uh, <laughs> says I was, uh, says I was, uh, uh, he said the first time was a surprise when we were done watching a movie or just hanging out. I don't exactly remember the circumstances four years ago. She jumped on me and started kissing me, telling me how comfy I made her feel. We quit hanging out during COVID lockdown, but kept in touch here and there. And I thought things ended naturally. Thankfully, her post, including the piece about me dissing Jim Rugg, super emotional, fuck Ed Pisker type language and the red room sales stuff portrays she's a pr- she's a petty woman scorned punitive and false my house was burning and she threw gasoline on it there needs to be recourse for my loved ones I'm dead I don't have a reason to lie hold Molly Wright accountable please 
Reputation destruction is her form of aggression, and there were very real consequences. My lawyer is Harris Miller. Uh, is it possible to subpoena all texts and DMs I have with her? So here's the thing. Remember, remember when mm -hmm. we talked about before uh with uh jonathan majors and we made yes. it very clear that uh you know threatening suicide and all that kinds of stuff is is a form of abuse right mm -hmm. um let me be uh let me add something in case it's in case it's not also clear it is possible to complete suicide and yeah. it'd be a form of abuse because I'll show them is is a part like the fact that that you are so angry and you want to make this person pay mm. uh, so much that you're willing to kill yourself to make sure that they go through some sort of hell uh, is is the same sort of uh, manipulation and, and and abuse tactics. So uh, it it just yeah. kind of just confirms everything. And I also I want to say too. Uh, this right here, this is where it starts getting kind of ugly to me. Uh, big titty taff. Yeah, I would draw you naked all day and never apologize for wanting to. I like drawing tits and tattoos when I'm not drawing comics. Okay, first off, it's like, okay, look, I'm not going to begrudge anyone for liking titties, but the way that this was worded was kind of like, yeah, Weird. so what? <laughs> who, who is that? Is, that? is that somebody else who... Uh, that was. I think that was another one of his accusers. Um and and that's how he and that's how he responds. Yeah, yeah this dude's a creep, and he's mentioned my breast before, mm -hmm. and he goes, "Sure did," and would do it again. Do it now again. Take this while I, and take look, this when while I kill myself. And like, look, look, oh behind, no, look, look behind this note. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it is. I don't know. Uh. Well, also, and I know Jim Rugg. Supposedly, I don't know the validity of this, but I remember hearing somewhere that Jim Rugg apparently had distanced himself from uh from ed pisker and all this and to my understanding and this was like before you know obviously before the unaliving but it's one of those things where i'm just kind of like look dude don't blame the internet for why you canceled yourself like you i mean yeah sure you caught some heat but honestly I think people would have forgotten about it inside of like a week or a month, even uh, at most. The, the only Somebody reason I said that up, up uh, earlier, yeah, like nerd, uh, nerd yeah, large, like you could have just uh, just kept quiet and came right back to work. You'd be fine, right? Yeah. Well, and, and even better, I would even I'd even go this far. I'd even go this far. It's like, look, dude. The only reason people are even still talking about you right now is because you you canceled yourself. Yeah, like if he did like, not like unalive himself. No one would still be talking about this. It would have gotten swept on like, like, okay, maybe into next week. But after that, no one would be talking about this shit anymore. Yeah. Yeah. The like, only no time it, may, it might come up is, and, and then here's, here's your clue. Mm -hmm. The only time I could see it continuing is if more women came forward or more serious allegations are made. Otherwise. Th true. True. He was, he was a creepo to me. You know what I mean? He was a creepo to me. Like he was, he was a weirdo to me. He mentioned my breasts. He invited me over. That's not, that's not something to, to kill yourself over. No, not at all. I maintain something else was going on. Oh no, there was, no, there was most certainly something else. Also okay, shout so out to, uh, get, oh, well, yeah, let me real quick. Uh, shout out to gay rights 702. Just subscribe for two months in a row. We appreciate you. That's what's up. Carry that's on, up. carry on. I was gonna say that's, so here's the thing. That's my one contribution to the to blurred code, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> also, oh, oh, before I forget too, uh, oh, also Bill. Okay, we, we Bill about, also uh uh subscribed as well. So shout out to Bill as well. Uh let's not talk about contributions because you know, uh anyways, what I was trying to say is do, do you think the unaliving uh will stop anybody else from coming forward? Because anybody else that come forward will be like, Oh, that's so fucked up. You wanna come forward after a person killed himself and they will yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, a hundred percent. And here's what, and here's, and here's how you know. That's exactly why people don't come, don't, don't come forward as it is. Because you know what I would love, and I know she, she's not gonna. Because I know uh, multiple papers, uh, multiple people have, have, have written like major papers. I think CNN even covered this mm -hmm. and said that she has told literally everyone. I put everything I had to say out there. I am not making any more comments on this. I promise you, I promise you, um, the Red Scare pod 
on uh on uh on on reddit i'm just kind of going through that tons of people talking about what a piece of shit she is and how you're a piece of shit if you you know for for making someone do this to themselves yada 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 i promise you her life is hell and in the same way that the mo- the general public will call you a liar and say you asked for it and you only mm-hmm. want money in the same way that that, that you were just a whore who who disrespect you know who who's mad that he dumped you and he moved on without you who, this right here if you want to call somebody out you're like fuck that i'm not having the entire internet try to yeah. call me a whore and, and you know what i mean like like well, yeah because it's the same behavior, like the same behavior that they're criticizing the internet of that led to, you know, oh. Quotey Fingers led to him unaliving himself is the same type mm-hmm. of behavior they would perpetrate mm-hmm. against her. Mm-hmm. That the difference is, and, you know, I'll just, well, let's just say that this all comes down to, you know, emotional and mental resilience. Because I'm pretty sure yeah. she's caught plenty of heat herself. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Maybe she's just well, more mentally and emotionally resilient than he is. Well, she just think, yeah. There you go. I mean, and I'm not trying to downplay anyone's <laughs> mental health, but I mean, I'm not. I'm no, gonna be a, we, we've already we've already established. Yeah, this dude didn't kill him. Well, I, speculation. Yeah. For all I know, he he could have been suffering from that. But here's the fact. Yeah. Well, what I mean is to say is like maybe he did have mental health issue. Who knows? But we know that when it comes to this type of shit, you don't need to have mental health issues for this. You know what I mean? An abuser who kills himself or somebody who do, who's trying to avoid consequences and kills himself. I, it's not even about respecting mental health. It's about disrespecting the memory of somebody who decided to kill himself instead of take, uh, uh, in, instead of take accountability for their actions. Fuck yeah. Them. I mean, and, and right here, like Manny said right here, yo, 199 says, exactly. Dude's probably been doing this shit. And with the four dice, it's not him blaming COVID for his mm-hmm. actions. I mean, that's just. Coronavirus. I mean, look, it, like Rhoda my, ain't my, out my, here my, like that. My favorite part of the whole thing was like, look, I didn't mean, I didn't mean now, probably not even 18. I said, hey, if you're coming through in like three, four, five years, I got a room, just so you know. Uh, because, and why would he have to say that? Why would he say not now, not next year? Maybe because it would be weird to tell that to a 17-year-old? Maybe because yeah. you already recognize that this yeah. something you said to a 17-year-old? Why do you have to why do why would you have to bring up that not even 18 then? Because you know it's fucking weird to tell that to a 17-year-old. And you did. That's grooming. Purpose Scott nailed it. And just and just in case I didn't make it clear earlier, she said that. She did not want this man's life ruined. She said, all I'm doing is to let people know this is what grooming looks like. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, and I'm glad. I'm glad she didn't uh, censor his name. I'm, you know, lots of times they'll say some shit like that. I'm like, no, let people need to know who the motherfucker is to, to, to you know. But I guess it's her fault because he didn't want to fucking, you know, he pressed the eject button. Yeah. Well, I mean, hey, but, this, is, this is the last little bit I'm going to read of this. And then we're going to leave it at that. Um, Because I feel like this is where the note gets ugly. Like, uglier. Mm -hmm. Is, uh... We're about to see, we're about to see Chris straight up whole ass fall asleep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's funny, and as funny as that would be, if you gotta go, go ahead, get out of here. Uh, I'll... I'll power through. He'd be like, he's like, nah. He's 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 like, nah. He's like, nah. Nah, he's like, nah. I I was playing. It's kind of like when you're in school or you're in training in the military and you're like, (laughs) you can't fall asleep. (laughs) I was praying. I was praying. I was looking yeah. down. I wasn't even. He was I wasn't praying. I actually did that. I did. Amen. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Blame it on the Rona. <laughs> Blame it on the Rona. <laughs> Blame it on the Henny. Yeah, I mean, but no, it, uh, he says once again, he says, I'm guilty of being stupid. No doubt. But that's all. I never thought in a million years that I would take this step. But I also never in a million years thought that something so Orwellian Wow, okay. Uh, Whatever happened to me. You never know in this life. I was murdered by internet bullies. Massive amounts of them. You were murdered by yourself. <laughs> did, did, no, nobody Nobody on the internet put a, put a I don't know how he actually yeah. unalived himself. It's called, but, it's, called, it's called suicide for a reason. Yeah, it's, it's like, because you you did it. You, you did it. Look, look, look. Like, uh, to, to get people to get people an idea of, you know, that thumbnail that, that shall not be uh, uh, seen, uh, unless you go to the Left Face TV uh, stream from yesterday. Uh, but no, 
I always like in, in, in the words, in the modified words of Vince McMahon, Ed Pisker screwed Ed Pisker. OK, mm -hmm. uh, but no, he says um, some of you out there absolutely contributed to my death as you were entertaining yourself with gossip. I wasn't AI. I was a real human being. You chipped little bits of my self-esteem away all week until I was vaporized. Maybe I'll be able to haunt you dorks as a ghost. Ooh. I come from gypsy heritage, and I'm definitely cursing a lot of you. Okay, first off, stop. Oh, uh, so corny. I'm like, dude, look, <laughs> this, this letter was the line. last breath, literally. <laughs> Bruh, like, like so. Isn't oh the my PC God. term uh, uh, Romani though? Just throwing it out there. They, was, they, they they do have they do have some uh, communities that have reclaimed the, the word. The word, okay, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. It's kind of like how <laughs> uh, it's kind of like how even though technically we kind of tend to refer to. Uh, indigenous people, Native Americans, as that there are uh, in, within Native American communities, you will sometimes hear yeah. even them refer to themselves as Indians. It's it's kind of one of those, yeah. Yeah, yeah, or sometimes just straight up Indians. Indian, yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. I've I've legit heard you know, like yeah, yeah Indian, yeah, like, okay, all right, yeah, whatever. Y'all can call yourself that. I yeah, mean, I, I'm not going to call like you that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I ain't gonna say it because I ain't about to get my <laughs> ass fucking whipped. Uh, you just, wow, damn, okay. damn, oh. that's, um, that's uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, but no, I'm, I'm just saying. Look, I'm, actually, I, actually, I am gonna go. I'm tired. He's like, he's like, he's like, I'm out. He's like, I'm a head out. He's like, I'm a head out. <laughs> Do the SpongeBob uh, move. He's like, let, let me, let me put. Uh. But no, uh, he says, uh, this is the calmest I felt all week. It's over for me. I'm sorry for the hurt. It'll cause my family and closest buds. I hope it makes people think twice when joining an internet feeding frenzy. There you have it. Control freak, control freak till the last. Peace out. P.S. There's eight hundred and fifty two dollars in my wallet cash in case the Jakes get sticky fingers and steal my shit. That's based. Yeah, that that's is based. based. Eddie I, P. I, I kind of like that. <laughs> 1982, 2024. There you go. That, that that's that's the end of him. I, I didn't read the rest you, of it because a lot of it is kind of more shit like that. Like if you go back, yeah. a lot of it's him just saying, hey, you know, you know, a, a message, a personal message to Jim Rugg and a personal message to da 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 this, da, 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 that, whatever. Um, Look, somebody, somebody who will remain unnamed sent you an email mm -hmm. talking about how they wanted to come on and oh, how yeah. during white flight his family stayed in the neighborhood, yada, yada, yada. Look, I need some of y'all to understand that you could be an ally and a good one too, a legitimate one in one area and be a piece of shit in another. And nothing about being an ally. An ally is not uh uh silver bullets they're not changed they're not like goodwill tokens you're either an ally or you're not an ally you know what i mean it's like hey look at all this work i, I do pro-palestinian stuff I, i'm pro-trans and i vote look at the way i vote what does it matter that i that i uh that i drink and drive and kill the family on the way home like you can't get mad at me for that i'm an activist you know what the fuck does it matter what his family did or didn't do uh, you know, or 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 how he was with the black community. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Um, and also, I find it kind of rude that yeah. uh, we're talking about cancel culture, but he's literally gonna curse me. Uh, like, come so on, if dude. I get a string of bad luck, like that's hypocrite. You're gonna do it as a ghost? That's well, fucked yeah. up. I can't even do anything oh. about that shit. And also to address the super chat, four ninety nine from Matthew Anderson says, uh, "Now I could be wrong, but if this was truly depression based, wouldn't this note be more of him blaming himself instead of blaming others?" That's the problem. He doesn't blame himself in any of this, really. I mean, he mm -hmm. does say something about it being stupid, but I mean, once again, we're gonna go back to right here. I was murdered by internet bullies. Yeah. yeah. The only no, thing he says he's point. guilty of is being stupid. That's that's the only thing he says he's guilty of being stupid. I don't know if, uh, you know, and this is just kind of semantics right here. I, I get your point, Matthew, um, and maybe you're right. Uh, I'm not qualified to say whether or not. I don't know if you did have true depression and you were suicidal, that that means also that you couldn't also be, like, narcissistic or or not take accountability. I don't, right. I don't think depression automatically makes you take accountability you know what i mean so maybe maybe not I yeah know. yeah it is it, it is like like to be fair under normal circumstances i probably would have said yes but i mean this note is very much like it, this is deflection yeah. of the highest order yeah. this, this is, is shame this is not depression yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. this is yeah. this is not someone taking accountability for their actions this is someone trying th th literally the very just by the very definition of what he did 
you know, taking himself off the, like, like retiring his own jersey. This guy literally avoided blame. Like, he gets to walk scot-free. I mean, yeah, figuratively speaking. Uh, but the people who I mean, accused him are like, oh, getting bombarded. Yeah. Mm. Like, the very same, like, like, and I'm sorry, at the end of the day, the very thing that he's accusing other people of doing to him, other people have been doing to the people who accused him before he even did the thing that he ultimately did. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, at the end of the day, he's sitting here complaining that, oh, what was me? I was bullied. But other people, th your fans are bullying these people who are coming forward with credible accusations in a lot of counts. Because, I mean, once again, they have no reason to lie either. What are they going to take from Jones you? Says, Charles L. Jones, exactly. Especially, yeah, exactly. You know what? Before before we talk about Gerald Charles L. Jones, yeah, I, I definitely... In the same way, I'm dead. So how can I be lying, right, to make sure that they pay? What about the people who aren't asking for anything? He's not rich. They're not no. getting any money for this. What would be their motive? Just right. to fuck over some random dude? That doesn't make any sense. So well, why are they yeah. lying? He says himself right. that, like, he hasn't even gotten his royalties from his own creator own work. Like the 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 hip hop family, there, there's a part in the uh, note where he talks about how he still hasn't gotten his royalties from the hip hop family tree omnibus. Yeah, so it's not and, like they're looking for money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, and he even you know? says like Jim, uh, yeah, he he calls out Jim Rugg in the letter too, saying, "Hey, you know, can you make sure my family doesn't get fucked over by publishers? Like, and you know, make sure they you know, get my royalties mm -hmm. or whatever." So I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's at the end of the day, I feel. He took the easy way out. Yeah. He took the easy way. And I know some people don't want to hear that because, yeah. oh, it, it minimizes. No, I'm not minimizing suicide. He legitimately uh, took the easy way out on this. I, I don't like that phrase when we're talking about people suffering with suicidal thoughts, right? Right. But you're exactly right. This does not smell yeah. like that. This is not deal struggling with depression or suicidal tendencies. That's not what this is. This is a uh, shame and avoiding accountability. Charles mm -hmm. L. Jones says you can also you can be depressed and an asshole, according to my wife. If that means that your wife is a therapist, I feel your pain. It is a good thing. <laughs> it is a blessing and a curse all at once. Bro. I feel you. I feel you. I'm here with you. She's like <laughs> in in solidarity. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I will be the yeah, weirdest support group ever. You what was that? Like, you know what? That would be the weirdest support group ever. Like husband against. Uh, yeah. therapist, therapist. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey, um, my uh, my name is Robo. Hi, Robo. Hi, Robo. And I'm um, and I'm married to a therapist. Oh my god. Oh my, come here. Give me a hug. Come here. Give me a hug. Bring it in. <laughs> you, you, every, everything you say is valid here. Everything you say is valid here. Uh, oh, I like her. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, I I I will I will I'll just say, yeah. In in closing, and I think we we can wrap it up here because uh, I yeah we can save the other stuff for next week. Uh, cause I kind of want to see what happens, what, what, what shakes, uh, out of that other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But, that wasn't Lil Wayne. That wasn't Lil Wayne. No. I thought, uh, I thought Drake said it. No, 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 no. Uh, in about three funny. years, call me my, of higher size. This is the same dude who said I F, uh, our tards in the, in the club or something like that. Yeah. Um, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, shit, I don't know. Hold what on. was that no, called? I, we need to, we need to go over that. Uh, it was it was a club hit. It was a club hit that talking about that talked about I have sex with mentally disabled people, and yeah. in about three years, call me Molly Cyrus. Which means if you do the math, she was fifteen when he made that 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 yeah, young yeah, money, yeah. Uh, young yeah. money. I, I know it was a young money song, but because it wasn't Bedrock, because no, because Bedrock even had some questionable shit. Uh, I believe it. It's, it's or Jay Mills. Up. Mm. It, was, it was Jay Mills. It was a Young Money song. I think it was Jay Mills who said it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm trying yeah, to remember. Yeah. Tell remember the song is gonna bother me. Fuck. Uh, well, I, you said every girl. It's called Every Girl. Okay, I gotcha. wish I could smash every girl in the world. Well, which is mm -hmm. which is weird because they performed that song at that Kids Choice Award. Mac Main. That's who it was. It was Mac Main. I Again. exchanged V cards with the. Arsler, yeah, uh, in about three years, holler at oh, me, yeah. Miley Cyrus. Again, they performed that song in the Kids' Choice Awards, so mm, no, cool. yeah, I was there when my sister was watching. I'm like, what the actual fuck? Oh, Mac Main's the same person. 
Oh, all right. Yeah. How about I say? I don't I, I don't know people's government names like that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought say uh, uh I, I I know superheroes' real names. Yeah, true. I don't true, I don't yeah. either way either way it wasn't Lil Wayne. That's what that was my point. <laughs> oh well yeah, 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 yeah. That, I, didn't, that, I didn't want to do Lil Wayne dirty like that. <laughs> like, like, yeah, no Lil Wayne slander, please. <laughs> Lil Wayne, like, man, why am I catching strays out here? For real. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. I didn't yeah. say that shit. <laughs> but, but somewhere Lil Wayne, hey. Lil Wayne was chilling somewhere and all of a sudden his chest started. He's like, oh, shit, what the fuck? Where did all these strays come from? Yeah. That is funny because he gets seizures. So just throw I know, that out there. That's half his fault too. I'm sure that that purple drink didn't uh, didn't uh, help. Oh, <laughs> see, <laughs> see, see. Is that victim blaming? Is that a, is that ableist? I don't know. We'll see. I mean, Hopefully, he's not oh, genetic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, I say you know what? Uh, you you weren't here last week, Cipher. So why don't you take us out? Yeah. Cool. Uh. Okay. So I gotta wait. Yeah. Wait. Um. Like, that's wait, so what show is this? Okay, I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is the show. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Nerds of Culture or the Nerds of the Culture. I am Just Chris Cypher. You can find me at Just Chris Cypher, Just Chris Cypher, or Cypher World for gaming content. I make sense. I'm a comedian. I'm funny. I'm tired. Don't judge me. We got Left Face TV from Left Face TV for all your Left Face needs. You know what I'm saying? And of course, the man, Lord Minus Fear. You know who he is. Hi. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm like, like, I'm like Delroy Lindo, like it's me. <laughs> uh, also, I'm me, and then the little Wayne song starts playing because I'm me. So who are you? Oh god! <laughs> but uh, I guess uh, yeah, man. Make sure y'all go click all the links. Uh, you know, go down there, click all the links and stuff. Go follow these guys on social media. We'll be back next Thursday to talk about more of the culture uh that, that we just so happen to be nerds of and you know i normally do this really like when it is oftentimes a throwback to old uh uh you know wcw like an old wcw moment some people probably don't know why i tell people to go to hell at the end of every episode uh but yeah i always say look up uh bash wcw bash at the beach i think it was like 90 Five ninety six, ninety seven, something like that. Go look it up. You'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, it was the sign off they used when uh, addressing Hulk Hogan uh, at the end of the show. And <laughs> but uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I know I talk a lot about not respecting the dead. I'm a huge believer in that. I don't think you should have to respect the dead. So I don't know. I, I, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna go with uh, your. I'm gonna defer to your judgment, guys. Do you think? Uh, we should have that after you know, this heavy topic that we just had. Yes, but no, here's why. Okay, it's the, he's potentially in this room right now. Oh, oh you shit! Cursed, to cursed, cursed, oh, cursing. That's me. right. He did. He oh. he could be cursing for, dude. Yes. Wait. What are you saying? Say? What you say go to or well so he's you... not here i'm not trying to get cursed yeah you know what that's true you know what <laughs> <laughs> you know what to that i say you know what i rebuke you <laughs> ed pisker you can go to hell